Thank you for watching. You can support the body via Cash App or PayPal. You can also support the channel by joining our Patreon for exclusive videos and content that can't be found anywhere else. We're the Sons of Thunder. It's our heart's prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. Shalom. Check. Welcome to Pillars of Rest, where you can find special material for our sisters, by our sisters. This is a Sons of Thunder exclusive platform focused on building, encouraging, uplifting, and engaging with the daughters of Zion. Here you'll find personalized and interactive content geared towards showing what it truly means to be a pillar of rest. Interviews, scripture breakdowns, tips on motherhood, marriage, and testimonials are just the beginning of the many things to learn from and enjoy in this program. Welcome to the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game's mission is to humble the world in the Truth of Yah. The Truth of Yah's board game's vision is to build up the poor man and woman in spirit. Many people are deceived by lies, deceit, fraud, pride, forward mouth, arrogance, and evil ways. The poor in spirit are attacked daily. The vision to build up the spirit is to cause people only to walk in the ways of Yahweh, just as his son Yahweh Shai and the prophets did, by not just speaking the word, but by putting every word Yahweh spoke into action. Into action. We're the sons of thunder Israelites, and it's our heart's prayer and desire that you all get the truth of Yah game. Use our discount code SOT for additional savings. Shalom. Shalom. All right, well, let's, let's play, man. Let's, let's get, get it, man. Let's get it going, man. truth you know hey yo you recording you recording oh, i'll praise yeah. this right, yeah. 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 it's time to rise up no more being lazy because when you know the truth that's when they call you crazy see around here it ain't all gravy some people rhyme with scraps and it's all safety they say what goes around comes around. I guess that's why some of my enemies don't come around. I, guess yeah. that's why. I speak the truth in every bar. Boy. And it's a light in every star. It is. Let's wake up and realize who we are. Why? Yeah. Because it's blood behind every scar. What? Look, the Jews were black. It's written in the book. They say you want to hide some from a black man and put it in the book. Hey. Facts. But that's just how it is. Yeah. It's sad. But that's just how it how is. It is. But we get blamed for the way we live But they never blame the ones that taught it to us It's just a life cycle But I'm just trying to be the best Just like Michael It's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears Where I come from, you gotta put away your fears Only a few wanna see you up But most people wanna see you down That's why my smile, it turns to a frown When you a king, you deserve a crown it's all praises to the most high. I'm going to keep his commandments till I die. I will. I know sometimes we like to ask why. But I learned that you got to let the Lord work. He do it. I know I'm here for a reason. For a reason. Damn, they killing for no reason. Yeah, it's been a bloody season. My people constantly fighting demons. See, I appreciate everything. All the love, all the hate. I mean everything. Everything. Giving wisdom to my offspring. my offspring. We laced up like shoestrings. Just putting on for the home team. They'll try to block your shine like sunscreen. They will. Yeah. Hey, don't mind me just giving wisdom to my offspring. Hey, let's keep the holy days, holy days. And stay away from my old ways, old ways. Let's keep the holy days, holy days. And stay away from 
life my way. way. Let's keep the holy day. The holy day. And stay away from old ways. Way. Let's keep the holy day. Holy day. And stay away from old ways. Way. All praises to the most high. Father figure keep me guided, I'm always protected Not a single wrong, I don't ever get corrected Light over my shoulders, tells from a priest Take a Psalms 23 and sit your tail to a seat Legendary in a way, but nothing like a tall tale False God, set them up, they all fail Fantasies they all sell Nothing in my time can compare to the timeless The light behind my rhyme and the one who I get in line with yeah. Ain't no other lane for this fire flame minister Descended from a higher plane, ain't no higher name from the one When a gun jam, I figure you know now Divine power, follow me that's just how it be yeah. I can testify for sure My heart not pure But still I get to see a day That I did not work for Bodies dropping with the climate Gats raising on black faces Still I'm the one who made it I just be thinking when I roll Something keep watching me Yeah. Something keep watching me The most high Something keep watching me Yeah. Something keep watching me I feel like everywhere I go Something keep watching me Uh-huh Something keep watching me, the most high. 
With my conscience, I acknowledge that there is a higher power. Look at me. False idols never promise victory. You survived because you was meant to. Stop the guessing. You a prize possession. Blessing from the sky. Ain't no higher lesson. I'm a messenger. You should get with this rhythm. Gospel. You ain't gotta be poor with chains no more. Flip up your master plate. Don't be captivated by your master space. The earth is yours, but first the one we know gon' have to pass away. Destiny. You part of a higher design. They tell me the sight of his eyes like fire and wines. Coming at the wild child who made it through the birth canal. One shot. Amazing how you missed the kiss of death Life was in your step People turned away from out this way Never coming back yeah. Slipped and fell inside the cracks yeah. Landed on their back But you ten toes in the field Still in one piece For real from the bottom Where all kind of brothers get easily killed Rest in peace to them You part of a higher design They tell me the sight of his eyes Like fire and wine When I roll Something keep watching me Something keep watching me The most high yeah. Something keep watching me, something keep watching me. I feel like everywhere I roll, something keep watching me, uh -huh. something keep watching me. Most high, uh -huh. I said something keep watching me, yeah. something keep watching me. Love to the Father, man. Upside down. Yeah. Upside down. Uh -huh. Turn me upside down. Yes. Took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how? He turned me upside down. Uh -huh. He turned me upside down. Yeah. He turned me upside down. Yeah. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, how? He turned me upside down. Uh -huh. He turned me upside down. Yeah. He turned me upside down. Sure. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, did he do I was homeless in the shelter. Yeah. Baby mama drama through understanding, man, I felt her. Uh -huh. Deprived of my seed with that anger, had to filter. Wicked in this world, wishing God would have dealt her. I was stupid, leaning on my own understanding. Out doing wicked in the world, underhanded. Hurting on my people in this world, I was like a bandit. He shot me off a cliff and I heard it when I landed. I was all broken up, he picked me up and sold me up. Put my family back together and the book, he laced me up. I shit the old man, it wasn't easy, it was tough. Still battle daily with that lust, it be rough No rains, but I put my hands on my purpose There was a time up in this world where it had me feeling worthless My father told me, go on and get it, fight the curses He shut my world down, had me get back to them verses like Ow, he turned me upside down He turned me upside down He turned me upside down He took me from the bottom to the top of my wow my ow. He turned me upside down He turned me upside down Upside down, but he took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow. ignorance had me making music for the devil. Look. Mad, cause I couldn't make it past the level. Most people couldn't take it in and make you buy a shovel. Do Only it. through his grace did I exit out the kettle, spending money with these Yankee promoters. I'm talking Q Vision, fake friends, fake folks. Yeah, I'm talking stupid pigeons. Shut me down, made me think and woke me up. The poison that I screwed up on my mouth, they soaked it up. Great power come with great responsibility. We up, can't be working with the father, double dipping in Satan's cup. I had to change the words and the message. It came with rewards, the graces and the blessings. And he showed me how to do it, turn a penny to a thousand. Proverbs 10 and 4 had me working, don't be lounging. Took my life in gutter and he molded me a pearl. My life was in destruction when he entered in my world. Like, ah, he turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He turned me upside down. He took me from the bottom to the top. I'm like, wow, I'm like, wow. Upside down. He gave me peace. He gave me grace. Love for the Father.
Vexed about my ways, did not reproach myself this flesh. I can't eat, escape, put myself in check. Nike tracks, who in this case ain't too best word. You know that word, Katana Blades. Uh, Blades cut me asunder so my carnal mind don't blunder. Think I'm most high for SOT. I'm out that slumber. I pray I'm of the multitude that you can't number. Uh, number times he had blessed me like in forest counting. Trees, yeah, how a light is judgment, bring it to your knees. And it's a thin line between just enough and greed. Yeah, greed. I'm hungry for some righteous knowledge. I'm intrigued and struggle hard to make it better for our seed. Loving your people is just more than a good deed. Seasons we got crabby with each other, disobeyed. So he put a nation over us, men that were base. They pervert the truth, they full of hate, they reprobates. Truth he made us all, but us and you can't conflate. 
Both found in the ditch when the who tried to leak the blind. To be upright, man, perfect the laws and be divine. Take me through that fire, a new mind to be refined. Even if at night the light hit gold, we still gon' shine. We still gon' yeah. You got that title that don't make you a good leader. You think your followers be gassing you? That's either he's pimping past the McIntyre congregations, Reba. Yeah. I see it. The wicked prosper, don't get caught up with the allure. A constant thought is one our nation gon' get restored. Search for the answers, keep the laws at the end. Endure. Yeah, endure. All the advice is in the book that the fool won't visit. Your wisdom show herself the few and the most won't get it. Oh, wise man said, is this for sure or are you committed? Yeah. I'm in this. I'm putting bricks up for myself. You make your decision. The map is laid. I took the step. You trust your improvisions. I must have seen the faith. Now watch it grow up through the ceiling. And the most high, he order all the steps I take. Time may get weary, but I gotta keep the pace. The clock is ticking. They of the Lord ain't gon' wait. I will, yeah, I will walk the water for your grace. All we see is pain, my people see the same. They lock the town in chains, we just praying for a change. They knock the soft the throne and strip the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim, I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that we the truth choose, but if they only knew that we the truth choose, if they only knew that we the truth choose, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, you saved us from Egypt, and Moses was the leader. Next 40 years, angel food is what you feed us. You passed me down the law, mindset of elitist. I took a blood oath and problems like kids, they keep it so we celebrate the past over kill them first. Born. You play the land of Egypt, no mercy was shown. For agriculture, finance, the system was torn. When you drown them in the sea and left their city in morning, now I'm mourning. And want the semblance of a sign, no, we blind. Messiah puts pretty clay in my eyes in times. They wonder when which way is the God, so we die. Not knowing his always way to the light, which is Christ. So I fight different stereotypes, parasites. My life ain't worth a pair of nights, real life. They think it's all a joke, Harlem nights in sight. They hate us Cause we the Israelites, cause if they only knew that we the true Jews, if only but if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only knew that we the true Jews, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, can't shake hands with you, her mate grand justice came with the same spirit as my ancient ancestors, we were puking in the gate, ain't sparing now nigga, they looking for a sign like when Christ transfigured, but prophecy is the sign which reminds we as children, cause even Moses times still describe how we living, we stricken with the curse and got the botch of Egypt I'm lifting up her skirt and exposing these soul secrets as they whitewash history distorted the pericope throw a dock and grow and see the love between you and me put us at the low and then rewarded all lunacy wicked of the earth and if not then who it be damn I need a moment just let me grieve nigga spiritual about freedom they'll never see damn I need a moment just let me grieve gosh we won't speak twice man don't perceive rock star trap star hood stars and blocks Stars, you wish conglomerates make it bang off of our scars. Madam Walker, Lee Parker, Thomas Marshall, George Carver, Jew wish conglomerates make it bang off of our smarts. All we see is pain, my people see the same. They lock us down in chains, we just praying for a change. They knock us off the throne and strip the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim, I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only knew that we the true Jews, but if they only knew that we the true Jews, the true Jews. Yeah, we the true Jews. Hey, you don't need a diamond tester. No man in the house. How can your mom protect you? They quick to hit us with a charge like we driving Tesla. You make a stand and give you bars, but you ain't riding scepter. Don't never trust a white man saying I can help you. Cause he was 12 and 16 and y'all child molesters. They arrive with all smiles, show the kind of gestures. They're hard ass when you say you got a lie detector. But that's cool though. Y'all should roll her up next. The elect. So we bomb heads, we gon' cut neck. Just death. Yeah, how it shot to that wide press, that white
light will turn red like Edomites when they upset. I'm trying to warn them, but two-thirds won't listen. I don't got to be Jordan, it's my bro Pippin. So I'm sturdy till they put me in the hurt. Till my family is the rat. Till my salvation first, we them All we see is pain. My people see the same. They locked us down in chains. We just praying for a change. They knocked us off the throne and stripped the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim. I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that, we the true truth. If only but if they only knew that, we the true truth. If they only knew that, we the true truth. But if they only knew that, we the true Jews. If they only knew that, we the true Jews. Yo, fire. Fire. We back. We missed last Friday. We had a new moon. We back. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters that sent in their beautiful music to get the class started. I mean, how y'all feel about that? Y'all got to be hyped. The Bach went in. Of course, the other brothers as usual. Shout out to the, the newest tracks by T. Israel and Yatham. Fire. What y'all think? Doja Yatham, S.O.T., man. It's fire. The Bach went crazy. What, what y'all think? I'm looking at the chat right now. Look like they love it out of one. Kowal's going crazy. Yo, throw some chairs. <laughs> Go ahead. Start throwing chairs. Let's do it. Come on, let's do it. Because we got to talk to the members, too, because I see some gold badges. Start throwing chairs, man. God. Y'all know how to do it. Get them chairs in the air. You see it in the chat. You see it in the chat. Chairs flying everywhere. <laughs> okay, y'all wilding. She throwing chairs and chanclas. Hold on. It's getting crazy. All right. That's the spirit, though. We excited for the Sabbath. We excited to worship Yahweh Shimma Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. We we up for that. Right. Our energy is, is 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 on 10 for that, Khan. Another one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, if you got a gold badge, I need a screenshot and an email sent to Sons of Thunder Israelites, okay? I'm not on the call. I can't be on the call. I, I don't have the ability. So, Malachi, if, if you can do it and put the put the phone next to your computer. Right, so I, like, give me a second. I can't be on the call right now. I can't do it. But if y'all are on a conference call, you want to call this number at the bottom, okay? I, I would for me to be on the call, I need another phone, okay? I need a screenshot and an email if you got a gold badge. Yo, this is throwing wheelchairs. Come on, I. I'm about to ban him out the chat for that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's crazy. Hey, Shah Shabbat, the WFI St. Louis, Shalom. Shout out to 12 Lilies. My man Yaquab did this. It's fire. See, the, the two turns into the L for Lilies. It's crazy. All right. Um, if you got a gold badge, we have a big announcement. Uh, Monique Stanford. Monique Stanford says, I joined Patreon. Is there more I need to do to join Pillars of Rest? My membership level says read PDF. I'm having trouble locating the PDF. Malachi, can you help her? Yeah, uh, just just send a message to us and I'll make sure you get that uh, PDF. Just just send a message and I got you, sis. Are you, are you able to get the call out? Can you do it? Yeah, I'm about to set it up right now. I have to get right. my rig phone. I'm not going to tell everybody what these gold badges are getting, but somebody threw a toilet. All right. All right. Come on, brother. <laughs> Wicked. I'm not going to tell you what the gold badges are getting, but when I get the email and we sort through them, y'all going to find out. Thank you for supporting the camp. Thank you for supporting the body. Okay. And we got something for you for making it to the gold badge. That means you've been a member for a six year. months. 
or is it 12 months? 12 months. That's what, uh, that's love, that's, man. That's what Ariel said, said 12 months. And that's the gold badge he got, right? That's love, man. Tamika says, how do you get the gold? Stay a member. Stay consistent. Don't let your membership drop. Just stay consistent. Watch what happened. Because we try to always give back. Because if you help us, you think we just ungrateful? No. We know that we can't do this without y'all. We know it ain't right. no class unless y'all watching. We know the clubhouse rooms is not full unless y'all in there supporting. And we know the ministry is nothing without first, Yahweh Bashim and Mashiach Yahweh But second, without the people feeling that there is value, that the teaching has meaning and giving us your attention for these lessons that we prepare for you week in and week out. Monday class, Tuesday class, camp video Wednesday, Thursday class, uh, Sabbath class Friday night, Saturday afternoon, uh, bar for bar. Okay, and then Sundays we offer counsel if you schedule it with us. So we seven days a week trying to uh, supply value to the nation. Of course, we are camp on Saturday. All right, I think some of the brothers on their way here now, I think, because they was at camp, I think. All right, so as we keep pushing and this kingdom wax worse and worse, all we're going to do is keep fighting the good fight and we run in the race to win, Con. All right, we need to, we need the class to know that on the call we that we live, we ready. Yeah, I'm about to I'm about to get them right now. I'm gonna have to go on mute real quick. Okay. Now I want to I want to acknowledge somebody. I want to acknowledge somebody. This brother, y'all. Let me tell you. This brother, his name is Judah Israel. Okay, this is a peak. Inside my um, inside my um, my uh, Facebook Messenger, right? People be messaging me here. I answer questions. I really don't pay too much attention to it. And when I went back and checked it, you see these messages be old. When I went back and checked it, I have to acknowledge this brother Judah Israel. This brother has sent me. A motivational scripture. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen to me. This brother has sent me a motivational scripture. Hey, I can still hear them. Can they hear me? Hold on, we're not, we're not taking questions right now. Can y'all hear, hear the YouTube? Mic check, mic check. Can y'all hear me? Say something again, I don't want. Mic check. Can y'all hear me? Okay, listen good. All right. Um, give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Malachi, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Khan, I don't want. Uh, I did not hear where he left off at. Trying to get this class together, but you know, just. From what I remember him saying, uh, we definitely appreciate everybody and um, everything that y'all do for us, man. Um, we try to give it back the best day, way that we can. Like I announced <clears throat> this past Tuesday, uh, we have our location for Passover. So uh, to answer Tamika Bird's question, yes, we have a location. Um, we should be getting the rest of the details out to everybody soon. Um, as far as Passover goes, just make sure that y'all send out them uh, RSVPs to the email. I'm about to put it at the bottom real quick so that y'all can see where to go if you want to RSVP for Passover. If you want to RSVP for Passover, that we're doing on April 22nd, which is a Monday, send your RSVP to sotfeastday at gmail.com. It's just feast day, no S at the end. All right, and make sure that you put in the subject Passover 2024. Um, and let us know how many people that you got coming with you so that we know how to accommodate you the proper way. All right. Um, we got some special. Is your Passover going to be in Atlanta? Yes. Flip the script, though. We are we're going to be in Atlanta this year, as we are every year. Um, we're going to have some uh, surprises and um, good news for our Patreon members at a certain level and for our um, 
our newly gold uh, members here on YouTube. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, please like and share. That's right, man. Please like and share as you enter the chat. Because again, uh, without y'all brothers and sisters helping us get this out, YouTube is a hater. YouTube is a huge hater. And they're going to block us from, you know, our content from being out on the algorithm. So we need to make sure that we hitting that like button, that subscribe button. Y'all y'all better be lucky that, that the auto one didn't put it on the chat where you can only comment if you subscribe. So all you haters and scoffers, uh, y'all just be on the lookout for that. Uh, somebody said something on the, on the phone. Uh, do it work and no, we haven't just started to uh, to respond to the Passover emails yet, but we will soon. We will soon. And another thing about the Passover, man, we starting on time, man. We ain't, we're not we're not starting late. If you if you got your RSVP and you get somebody on the uh, phone, got to mute up. That's me. Oh, okay, kind of. Uh, so I don't need to be on here then. We good I'm now. We good. Up. The brothers are here. I'm going I'm to have another phone in one second. Tell them to bear with me for one second because we're not starting anyway. All right. F finish what you're saying. And I got to make I got to I got to address something. OK, kind of. Now, I'm just saying, man, we starting on time this year. Uh, we're not doing no late uh, Passover thing. Uh, if you come in the middle of us doing prayers, you will be waiting outside until we finish the prayers. And I'm telling you this now, that the prayers are the most important part of the Passover. All right? And they take a long time. That's the main reason that we come to do the Passover and we gather together. One is to acknowledge these brothers. Oh, that's what I love. To acknowledge the Lord. I don't care. Yo, I don't want you. You're not muted. Yo, I'm rebuking him. What do you say? Hurry up. I got it. Nah, man, we just started on time. If you come in the middle of the prayers, you're going to be outside till we finish the prayers. Um, and then uh, I think that's it, man. That's it. <laughs> I don't want in the middle of rebuking these brothers because they're late. Look at these brothers. Out of this. These are the these are the faces of late late men. Class started at what time, Ox? What time did class start? Class, class started, started so at eight forty five. What time is it? It's nine twenty three. And they coming in making all this noise, making my son cry. He don't like y'all. Now look, <laughs> we gotta address this brother right here. This brother, listen, this is my what y'all looking at right here is my Facebook Messenger. Okay. This brother's name is Judah Israel. I gotta acknowledge this brother, man. I have to. Amen. Judah Israel sent me a motivational scripture mm -hmm. every single day for the last year every day and i need and some of them i needed i was reading them judah judah i was reading them every single day look at it i appreciate the time you take to send me scriptures i'm going to mention you on friday class and give you your flowers i told him that on january 2nd i forgot it's February. But before I even said that, Judah was sending me a motivational scripture every six. This is the most wicked brother in the camp right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every single day. Nah, that's my beloved brother, Captain Micaiah. Con, con. Every day. <clears throat> Every single day. Yeah, Wait, I don't want. You said that you got on. You got on the call, right? One of them on the call. Yo, yeah. Call into the class. Yo, the bro. I'll. I'm gonna scroll. Yo. Yo. Look at this. We don't. We barely talk. The brother asked a couple times. 
See, right on time, Mark. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss. Mm -hmm. I don't know who this brother is. I never seen him in my life. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Mm -hmm. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Amen. Amen. Come feast with us one day. I hold on. It's more. Yo, this brother, Judah Israel, man. I want to thank you. I want to say I love you, I. You have no idea how much I needed this, man. Okay. Y'all might be saying, y'all, oh, why you not saying more? Ain't nothing to say. <laughs> every single every, every day. day. Look at it. I'm, I'm in 2022. Wow. So it wasn't wow. for a year. More than, wow. It was more than a year. That means that brother reads every day. That means that brother got the wherewithal and loved me to mm -hmm. think of me every single day and give me a word, man. That's you think because I teach, I don't need this? And he didn't need a response. There was a time, there were days where I was going through hell. I didn't respond to the brother. Look at this stretch. He kept doing it. Oh, we got to keep going. That's amazing. We got to keep going. 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 Every yeah, single day, this brother, man. Hold on, man. Let's pick something. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise glorifieth me, and to him that or ordereth his conversation aright will I show the salvation of God. Watch your mouth, man. I'm in, I'm I'm in February of 2022, bro. That was a different time. Every single day. What year am I in? 2021. This brother has sent me a precept. Every, si yo. Every single day, man. Never asked me for nothing. Never tried to sell me a drawing. Never tried to ask me to donate to an African church. This a real, this a real brother that sent love every single day for three years. Wait, we going? We still got more. Still going. This is crazy. We still got more. In 2021, it was a different time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tough time. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall, shall be destroyed. destroyed. Mm. Evil pursueth sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. And that's why we be trying to be good to people. We try to help people. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want no correction. We give it anyway. Some people don't want no love. We give it anyway. Mm -hmm. I had just become a soldier. Every single day. I'm still, the first text was on April of 2021, 8.50 in the morning. This brother sent me, and we're going to read this. God. Call it and read it. God, God. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2 and verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. <coughs> and what? And make not haste in time of trouble. Come on. Cleave unto him. See, y'all make haste when things get rough. <coughs> Went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> when things ain't going y'all way, y'all make haste. Y'all quit. Y'all right. back out. Because yeah. it's time for you to get refined. Mm -hmm. You don't even know that it's blessings on the other side of obedience, man. Right. Read on. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last. Because at the end of it, you're going to be increased. You got to take some medicine right now. I had to take medicine. You got to take some medicine. 
Some things suck, but you got to hold that. Read. Right. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Say it again. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Read. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. When you got to get rebuked, wow. when you got to sit down, when you got to take counsel, when you got to get corrected, when you got to confess you lie, when you got to confess you fail, when you got to confess you fall, when you got to confess you got weak, when you got to confess you sin in general. Be patient, though. Yeah, you're in a lower state right now because you made a mistake, but be patient. Read. For gold is tried in the fire. Because this is your trial. Did you quit? Did you run away? Read. And acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. And women. Acceptable men and women in the furnace of adversity. Read. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Change. Trust the most high. You good. That's right. All I said was, yes, sir, because I had no idea what was about to happen, y'all. I didn't know that Brother Judah Israel was going to send me a precept every single day from that point forward, man. Hey, I just want to say, brother, and I mean it, man, from the bottom of my heart, brother, I love you. Thank you. And please don't stop, bro. Send more, man. All right. All right. Shout out to that brother. If y'all know that brother. He might be on class. He might not. But if y'all know that brother, tell him that, hey, man, we acknowledge them, man, and, and we appreciate him. Sons of Thunder appreciate that brother as a camp. Gun? Hello, y'all. Hello, y'all. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, that, that debacle a war was kind of crazy. Kind. We might have to do that again, all right, before we start class. Right. Now, we're going to do it at the end. What's that? Oh, we have new music. Y'all missed everything. Yeah, they missed like, it because it was late. That was late. We was doing the work. We were doing the work. Please. Excuses. Mercy. Don't throw the chairs at us. Please. Excuses. Everybody nah, throw a chair at Everybody throw a chair at Wait, 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 wait. Everybody throw a chair at Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Wait, sit down, man. Throw a chair at There you go. There you go. Abuela. There you go. Don't don't hit them with chairs because they got to do the work. Yeah, there they go. Oh, man. There they go. Ecclesiastes threw a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Look at the chat, man. Look at all the chairs in the chat, man. That's what you get. That's what you get, man. No, no, stop being late. All right. Stop being late. Don't do that. Yeah, show your face on camera. Show your face on camera that you. This brother's late. Yeah. Oh, and and somebody threw a chair anyway. Oh. <laughs> So that's Soldier Durock. He's off. <laughs> yeah, you got to see about it. <laughs> and a brother threw everybody threw his shoe. He'd see, he hit y'all with a chair. Right? <laughs> you know, somebody, you thought we had a wooden chair. Somebody threw a wooden chair. No, nah, that doesn't count. Those oh, WFI, that's I. how it is? Oh, St. <laughs> Louis. All right. St. Louis, of course. So a wooden chair. That's Sounds that's and crazy. scenes through the through the chair that help you up the stairs where you can't walk no more. Dang, that's a heavy that's chair. A heavy chair. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get to it, man. Hey, Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, man, we came back after New Move to get right back to it, to continue the series of Stop Lying on the Bible. Stop, 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 stop. All right, James 2 don't save you. All right, John 3.16 is not helping you. What you, John, what, what, what you in James for? And Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. All right. What Christianity has done is they've attached, if you've been paying attention to our YouTube, they, they've attached ideas to scriptures. The script, the scriptures does say something, but you added an idea to it right. that it didn't say. Right. And you passing it off like that's the word of the Lord and that's the word of you. Right. And uh, we love you too, Kowal. Love you too, uh, brother. Love you, too, brother. Love, you one. love you, Adam. We love you too, man. Oops. We love you too, man. Stop adding your ideas to the scripture. All right, Tiger Fang says, I love the Can't Save You series. It's more. It's it's a lot. If, if, if I think of another one, we'll do it next week. But right now, I said, this one has to be addressed. That's right, Danny. That's right, Danny. You listening, bro. Diction does not determine doctrine. doctrine. Be listening. The right. way something reads does not change what it means. It says what it says. But because it reads away, it doesn't mean that there's a secret in there that the author was hiding because he wrote it a certain way. No, that's what you that's what y'all say. 
because y'all got to prove y'all trinity and all of y'all madness. Oh my goodness. All right. Oh, we got crazy cuts. Does that say there's three gods in one? Well, no, but one can imply. Nah, we're not oh, doing that. No. We're going to serve the Lord and we're going to obey his word. That's we're not right. going to add to or take away. Con? Come. All right, mute your phones. Now, check this out. Check, check this out. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 29. Okay. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 29. That's right, Sister Talia. Now, in Deuteronomy 29, something is happening. Okay. The Most High is declaring a certain covenant with a certain people. All right. And while he's declaring that covenant, there are other people present. The Israelites, as a group, moved with others. And what Christianity has said is Deuteronomy 29 is showing you in the Old Testament how the Most High includes everyone in the covenant. I said, that's clever. I said, that's clever. I said, that's clever. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. That's not what this is designed to teach, but you attach oh. that idea to it and not letting it be evaluated and then going into other scriptures mm -hmm. and making a sandwich. You could come out with the doctrine that the Most High's covenant is with all that love him. I get it. I see how you did that. But that's not the doctrine of the scriptures. Right. Okay? Malachi, I want you to get Leviticus 25 and hold it. Okay, can I? All right? Um, I need a loud, strong reader. I need Deuteronomy 29 God. and 1. The Baka War said, I appreciate y'all dropping my song. We're going to play it again, Ak. It was straight fire. Gas. Yes, yes. Gas. All right. The people was loving it. And, uh, you know, SOT and Sakari, bro. We ain't cahoots. You already know. You already know. Definitely. Shalom, cool. sister Natiza. Shalom, sister. sister. All right. We ain't cahoots for real. Make sure y'all sisters that are watching this, if you're not in the Pillars of Rest program, go do that. You know, wait till after the Sabbath and join the Pillars of Rest program because. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ask Malachi about this next one we got. Oh my Next goodness. episode, it's going to be Child <laughs> Sisters, right? We got five episodes so far, man. All right? You know, we got backlog. I was trying to do them every week like power, bro. But we got backlog. I got sick. Then we got backlog. But now we <laughs> trying to catch up, all right? Sisters, stay patient with us, okay? But it's, it's, a, it's a community for the women, and the lessons are women speaking. So it's a safe space for you sisters. That we trying to curate, uh, we we hope all of y'all join that and pass it around, man. Okay, now Deuteronomy twenty nine and one read the book of Deuteronomy chapter twenty nine and verse one. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he had which he made with them in Horeb. And Moses called unto all Israel and said unto them. Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh and unto all his servants and unto all his land. Stop for a second. Who is this covenant made with? Deuteronomy 29 is being used to teach that God is making a covenant with everybody present. And people that are not just there, anybody can have this covenant as long as they love the Lord. Read verse one again. Deuteronomy 29 and 1. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel and the land of Moab beside the covenant which he had made with them in Horeb. That says he's making this covenant with the children of Israel. That's number one. Right. So the Christian is so hasty and proud because I'm not going to mention the name. You ain't getting that clock. <laughs> not, not just them only. Mm. He wanted to harp on that because mm -hmm. it does go on to say that and we're going to read it. But what, not what only, we're going to discuss that right. patiently. But as, as far as we know right now, who is this covenant made with? Israel. Israel. In the land of Moab. I mean, that's plain. That's what mm -hmm. it's saying. Jump down to verse 8. God. Verse 8. And we took their land. And we took their land. <laughs> now, the covenant is supposed to be with everybody. 
But part of the telling of the story involves the Israelites taking, yeah. somebody taking somebody's yeah. land. Yeah. Why didn't they get to join the covenant? Right. Why they had to die? It's not change. Hey, hey, you have to give them their inheritance among the children of Israel. Right. Ain't that what they say? Yeah. So what you taking their land for? We refused our lands. What is he talking about? <laughs> Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. Nope, no. We about to see. Read on. And we took their land and gave it for an inheritance unto the Reubenites. Come on. And to the Gadites. And to the half tribe of Manasseh. And to the heathen with us. And to the, the half, half tribe, tribe of Manasseh. Manasseh. And some of them heathens too. And to the, the half, half tribe, tribe of Manasseh. Manasseh. Y'all don't exegete this stuff. Y'all skip these verses yeah, yeah. to get right to the verse that you feel makes your point. So that you can attach your idea to it like a virus. Right. And the Hebrew Israelites, all we did was study, man. All we did was go into the lab and look at the book. And talk to each other. What that mean? I don't know. I don't think so. Yes, it do. Well, let's see. Well, what about what it say over here? And trade bars all day, all night at candlelight. We sat in a four-corner room all alone staring at Bibles. Listening to truth music. Trying to figure this thing out, man. You know? And what we found out was salvation is only for Israel. That's right. Old Testament, New Testament. But what we also learned was, if I didn't know certain things, what you saying sounds right. Right. Read on. Kind. Keep, therefore, the words of this covenant and do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. When he says do them, that ye, who's the ye? Israel. Israel. It's Israel so far. Right. I'm not saying it's only them. I'm not saying you, I'm not saying I'm right. I just got a hunch. We're gonna see. Mm -hmm. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel. So that includes all the Israelites. Right. Okay, that they're the Israelites in one bucket. Read. Your little ones, your wives. And the, thy stranger that is in thy camp. Oh, mm -hmm. Hold on. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, 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 when you read, when you read still with the context, them, them in the chat, they cut. Mm. So Israel in one bucket and the stranger. How can that be Israel too? What happened? So what they will say is, ah, 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 no way out of this black Hebrew Israelite. What, what's you, text say? you got Israel in one bucket and the stranger that is where in thy camp read from the hewer of thy wood unto the drawer of thy water the, the people that cut trees for you uh -huh. and the people that go fetch buckets of water from the well for you mm -hmm. read that thou shouldest enter into covenant with the Lord thy God aha so that means that not only the Israelites, but the strangers that's with them have entered into the covenant. This proves that Israel is not really a race. It's a group of a certain type of people. This is an Old Testament precedent proving that anyone can take hold of the covenant and the covenants are not just for Israel. Do you there see you the, Do you see the argument? Yeah. Very crafty. Be Very fair. Nice. That sounds right. Mm -hmm. Malachi? Yeah, it sounds right. I've even heard uh I've even heard brothers use this but start off in the New Testament with they scoff and say Christ came and died for these people too cuz they are under that covenant. Mm. Wow. Now they're going to skip and jump to verse 14. Read it. Con, verse 14. Neither with you only. Neither with you only. <laughs> Who's the you? Israel. Israel. Read. Neither with you only do I make this covenant and this oath. But? But with him that standeth here with us this day before the Lord our God, and also with him that is not here with us this day. Uh-oh. Oh, man. So it ain't all about Israel. It's with anybody. Because you don't have to be present. Right. And only Israel was present. And that's talking to other people. Do you understand? That's the argument. Malachi? Yeah, I understand. When you teach it like that, how does it sound? It sounds like that's what it means. It sounds like what it say, right? Yep. Yeah. What the text say? I'm going to let you have that. 
I'm going to let you have that. I'm not going to argue Gare and uh, Nakar. Are you really a stranger of the Israel? Are you a true heathen? I'm not going to argue none of that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let you have that. What is the covenant? Mm -hmm. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Give me a precept. What is the covenant? What the scholars in the chat say? What is the covenant? Where are my scholars at in the chat? What is the covenant? Does anybody know? Give me Exodus 19 and 5. I'm back. Let's look at Exodus chapter 19 and verse 5. Hold on, let me I'm gonna put it on the screen. I want to put this on the screen. And the, and the royal uh, KJV. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, gotcha. See, these idiots use this King James only. Like, yeah. hey, we understand textual criticism. You just didn't know that. Right, right. We just enjoy the King's English because this is how you speak the language. Yeah. Okay? Read that. Look at Exodus chapter 19 and 5. Now, therefore... If ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. All the earth is mine. All right. So this works against you black Israelites because all the earth is mine. My covenant and all is in one verse together, which means the covenant is for all because all the earth is his. Not with you only. Not with you just here today, but also him who is not here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all the men of Israel and their wives and kids, and also the stranger that is within your gates. I make this covenant with you. See what they're saying? Mm -hmm. Does it say that? Yes. It says, I I'll make this covenant with not only. Does it say that? It says that. Yep. Now. What idea did they attach to that? All nations. It means that all nations mm -hmm. can take hold of the covenant right. and achieve equality mm -hmm. with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. Does it say that? No. Blah. But that's the idea that they've attached Today. to that collection of verses. Mm -hmm. So the covenant is the commandments, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. The covenant, the deal is keep my commandments. I am your God. God That's the covenant, right? That's right? The covenant. Malachi, are you in Leviticus 25? Yeah, I'm here. Hold on, let me fix something because somebody on the call got a little beeping. Yeah, you, can do it too. you can do it? Okay. I want you to go to Leviticus 29. 25. Uh, 25. And I want you to read verse 37. You mean 35? Oh, no, don't even do that yet. That's a killer. That ends the class. That does too. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 we got to drag it. We got to drag it. We got to drag you it. You want me to start at 35? I want, I want rigor. Uh, Exodus 1? No, Leviticus 25 and 40. Start at just 40. Okay, come on. <laughs> That'll end the class. Yeah. You want me to start at 39 or 40? Uh, 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 39. Okay, kind. All right, this is the book of now Leviticus. The covenant, remember, the covenant is keep my law. Uh -huh. I'm your God. Mm -hmm. The argument is that covenant goes to not just the Israelites. Uh -huh. But also the stranger that is within thy gates. Because all the earth is mine. Because all the earth is mine. Not with you only, mm -hmm. but with him today and also him that's not here. Not here. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that means God's covenant goes to everyone and everyone universally, equally mm -hmm. takes hold of that covenant. <laughs> Let's see. Read this. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 25 and verse 39. Read. 
And if thy brother that dwelleth by thee be waxen poor and be sold unto thee, thou shalt not compel him to serve as a bond servant. Come on. But as an hired servant and as a sojourner, he shall be with thee and shall serve thee unto the year of Jubilee. Come on. And then shall he depart from thee, both he and his children with him, and shall return unto his own family, and unto the possession of his fathers shall he return. Is that the law? Yes. God. That's, does that say if an Israelite becomes poor and is sold to you, you cannot turn him into a bondman, but you have to treat him like a sojourner? And in the year of Jubilee, you have to let him go. That's seven years. You have yeah. to let him go mm -hmm. with his children mm -hmm. and return him to his own family right. unto the possession of his fathers. Mm -hmm. Is that the law? Yes. To keep the covenant, I have to keep that law. That's right. That's right. That's law. Okay. Remember that. All right. Thou sayest. Read on. Verse 42. For they are my servants, which I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. They shall not be sold as bondmen. Can't do that. Can't do it. That's the law. That's the law. That's right. To keep the covenant, keep that law. Yes, that's right. Yes. If I'm not keeping the covenant, if I do that to him. That's right. Read on. Thou shalt not rule over him with rigor, but shall fear thy God. If I rule over him with rigor, not keeping the covenant. Not keeping, you're not the, covenant. keeping the covenant. You're not fearing God. If I don't rule over him with rigor, let him go after seven years with his possessions. I kept the covenant. Yes, yes you did. did. Right. I obeyed the voice of my God. Yes, you right. did. Mm -hmm. I feared my God. Yes, yes right. right. So he is my God. Yes. yes. Because I kept the covenant. Yes. Right. Yes. God. Malachi. God. Read on. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondwomen. I mean, so like bondmaids. <laughs> I'm confused on the legality of this. Mm -hmm. What happened? The stranger that is in the gates that you said is also taking hold of this covenant. Mm -hmm. Can I buy him? <laughs> yes. Why not? He's a heathen round about me. Because it goes to, to, to all, the, all, all nations. So does that heathen round about me become an Israelite? No. No. Why not? The, uh, he's taking hold of the covenant. So let's add that. Mm -hmm. Read on. Both thy bondmen and thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them mm -hmm. shall you buy bondmen and bondmaids. Come on. Come over of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you. Of them shall ye buy. Wait, time out. Wait, 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 wait. The covenant is not with you only, right? But the stranger that is within thy gates, right? Mm -hmm. The children of the strangers that is in your gates, uh -huh. Uh -huh. of them shall ye buy. <clears throat> and read on. Yes. And of their families that are with you. Which they begat in your land, and they shall be a possession. Mic is kind of hot. Your mic is kind of hot. It's high? Yeah, it's better now. So let me, uh, the legality Wait, is confusing. You could, you could own them? You could possess them? They're <laughs> taking, somebody don't like that. They're taking hold of the cup, not with you only, not with you only. but with the stranger that is with you. Right. Read on. It's got to be more. Verse 46. Yo, you guys you shall bad. Whatever you did ruined your mic sound. It doesn't sound good now? Now it does. It sound, it, before it had like this vibration like you were banging on the table. I think it's because I'm talking too loud. Maybe I should just read regular. Yeah, just talk regular. Okay, kind. Verse 46. And you shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you to inherit them for a possession. Wow. They shall be your bondmen forever. No. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, you shall not rule one over another with rigor. Chris, Chris is around the room. Wait a minute. 
Yeah. Not with you only, mm -hmm. but with the stranger that is in your gates. Take hold of the covenant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which yes. which means <laughs> that all equally <laughs> attain the promises and love of God. Because there is real. You must never read Leviticus twenty five. That's not what this says. <laughs> For me to keep this commandment, I have to look at this stranger that's with me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and tell him, "Wait a minute, <laughs> I'm a, Hold on, I don't have to let you go. <laughs> My grass needs to be cut." Wait, Ever. listen, listen Ever. to me, listen to me. I don't have to let you go. You have to stay my slave forever, or you're breaking the covenant. And don't you ever. <laughs> Don't you, don't you don't ever. Don't see, you, don't see me, I'm Jake. I'm Jake. I'm Jake. I'm Jake. You, 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 see, you, see, you see, they don't know, they don't know the reference. They don't know the reference. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, he can say whatever he wants, but, but you. Hold on, let's think about this for a minute. Deuteronomy 29. Read verse 9. Deuteronomy 29 and 9. Keep therefore the words of this covenant. And do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. Everybody keep the covenant. Yes. Mm -hmm. The covenant is the commandments. Yes. You keep my commandments, I'm your God. Yes. Right. This a commandment. Yes. Okay. Read. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel. The Israelites in one bucket. Mm-hmm. Your little ones, your wives, and thy stranger that is in thy camp. And thy stranger that is in thy camp. Well, according to Leviticus 25, to keep the covenant, he would have to not resist this. Get it right. Get it fall in love. But if he resists this, is the stranger that's in my gate breaking the covenant? Breaking the covenant. Yes, he is. Yes. Or because he was there and heard this, he becomes elevated to the status of an Israelite no. and he can enact this on others. No, how can he be elevated if he is a stranger that can be possessed forever? <clears throat> ah, we just started that hurt. and it don't work. Yeah, hey, Salaki, y'all do know that Joshua actually did curse these specific people forever, yeah. right? Yes. <laughs> Wait, we couldn't get to it. Okay, my it's bad. It's a landslide. Now you now that's a landslide. Now you it's overkill. a class. The class overkill. the class has to go on. Salaki. I was trying I, to get I, I was trying I to get want, a people chance for QA. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> I want the Christian to tell me uh, the stranger that was in Deuteronomy 29 is elevated to equality with an Israelite. Oh. So he is treated like one born in the land and is no longer a stranger within thy gates. And he can enact, enact this on the strangers that's in thy gates. Oh. And then I'm going to ask him, what verse is that? Is that yeah. right? <laughs> Somebody don't like that. Oh, that? Wait, but so are people, you... That was like three people. So are you saying it doesn't go to everyone that's even in the other lands? Because mm. those people can be made slaves by the people that were present? That would mean that the people that are not present would be enacting this on the people that are of their nation. And not that, present as well. That weren't present. Right. Does that make sense, make brothers and sisters? No Absolutely. sense. Uh -huh. Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. Because to keep the covenant, you got to keep this. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really angry. Because okay. <laughs> <laughs> really I've been lied to. I've been had. Let's stay in Levit. Hey, <laughs> Micaiah, he, he called me with a dagger concerning this too last night. Malachi, you have a commentary? Uh, lie, not till we get to Joshua. Just hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, brothers, just, brothers, just, brothers are trying to like end the class now. It's crazy. We got to talk about it. A, Malachi, can you drop this and go to Deuteronomy 14 and 20? Uh oh. 
Because wait, what? This is bad. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm here. Torture for them. Yeah. I'm just gonna have this on the screen so they don't know what's coming next. Because y'all don't study the law. <laughs> y'all spend the majority of your time in Paul's letters and you're overmatched. Uh, the uh doctrine in Paul's letters is too heavy yeah, for thou. Really thou, oh. thou, 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 thou canst lift it. This man with, too heavy. with madness. Some of y'all, some of y'all. It's like it's like it's like Thor's hammer. You can't lift it, bro. It got, you can't can't lift it. It got some you're of y'all. It got some of y'all eating pork, and it got some of y'all putting down Christ. And it's crazy. This is this cool. is, this is, is this is this is wild. Yeah. Malachi, read Deuteronomy fourteen and twenty. Let's see, because keep the covenant, keep the law. Mm -hmm. Yep. Break the covenant, break this law. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Not just with you only, not not you only. only. Yes, but no. the stranger that is in thy gates also has to follow this covenant, yep, right. or else they break the covenant. Yes, right? Right. Yes. So the stranger can't tell me that he's leaving no. because he has to be my servant forever, forever. Yes, right? forever. and his children, and his children. <laughs> but the Israelite, I can't rule over him with rigor. Can't. Nope. So the stranger, I can rule you with rigor. Yes. Yep. There's a difference. Not with you only. And the people but the guy that's not here today that I might meet later. Yeah. I'm gonna go get them. That's not that's whose land I might take. That's whose land I might take. That's not of my brethren. Right. Mm. That's, that's, that's bad for y'all. We would never be able to discuss this like this. No, no, no. The, the Christian will be going insane, making monkey noises and throwing tables. <laughs> but wait, this is your precept. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 29. The Israelites is already accounted for. You brought us here. I make this covenant with not only you, right. but with the stranger that is in thy gates, okay. proving, okay. 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 Does the stranger have to keep that law? Yeah. yeah. Or does he get elevated to the status of an Israelite where he can enact that law? Are you, do you dare to say that? That's terrible. Is that what they said? Do you dare to say that? If not, then we don't, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. The oh, we, got, we got to tell them that. We're, we're not fighting. We're not fighting. The stranger get this covenant yep, too, yep. but that's his place in the covenant? Or no? And if no, how? That's his life. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's think about that. Read that, Malachi. Let's see Kai, and it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 14 and verse 20. But of all clean fowls, ye may eat. If you eat an unclean bird, break the covenant? Yes. 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 Eat the clean bird, keep covenant. Yes. 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 This is a law? Yes. 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 Got to do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about New Testament. We're talking about Deuteronomy 29. Yeah, 29. Deuteronomy talking about this. Yes. Yep. Got to do this. At, the, at that time. At that time. At that time. <laughs> at time at Deuteronomy 29, you got to do this. Yep. Yes? Yep. I'm giving you that. Yep. Not with you only. Not with you only. Right. right? Not the Israelites only, Malachi, but the stranger, he got to do this too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it don't matter if it's Gar or Nakar. Am I saying that correctly? Uh, yeah, Nakar? Yeah. It doesn't matter. We accounting for him. Yeah. He got to do this. Yeah. Read the next verse out. Verse 21. Ye shall not eat of anything that dieth of itself. Thou shalt give it unto the stranger that is in thy gates, that he may eat it. Or they, thou mayest sell it unto an alien, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see, see the, a kid in his mother's milk. The alien and the stranger that's in thy gates, yeah. I could give him the roadkill. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so the person yeah. that's in thy gates and the person that mm -hmm. not in wasn't in your gates right. that you shall come across, mm -hmm. you can give them roadkill. Yeah. 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 It, it, says, it says, thou shalt give it unto... But I can't give it to the Israelite. No, no, you no can't do and that. I can't. No. But the heathen that was with us when the covenant was read, uh -huh. it also he takes hold of the covenant. No. So I can't give him that. Yeah. But he's the stranger in the gates. That's also, but the stranger that's in the gates, I can give it to him. So wait, is there two strangers in that? Which stranger Ooh, in the gate can I do this for? That's the question. That's the question. That is the question. That is the question. Which that is the question. We we, we, we helping them out. We trying to help y'all out. Which stranger? I, wait, not with you only. Not with you only. The Israelite can't do this. Mm -hmm. And you elevated the stranger in the gates. 
to taking hold of the covenant, which basically meant I want all the benefits the Israelite get. Right. Mm -hmm. But the stranger in the gates can eat roadkill. They can. Yeah, they which can. stranger in the gate can I sell it to? The stranger in the gate or the stranger in the gate? How do we how do we identify them? Which one's different? You brought us here. This is your doctrine. <laughs> which stranger in the gate? Is it the stranger? Okay. Does he stop being a stranger in the gate once he takes hold of the covenant? How, wait, but part of the covenant is he, he can eat roadkill and I I can sell it to him. And another part of the covenant is he can't leave if he wants to leave and he's my servant. But he's supposed to keep that because that's part of the covenant. But if he breaks that, he's no longer in the covenant. If But, but if he heard the covenant in 29... He stops being a stranger in the gate, but you said the stranger in the gate is who heard that. Right. I'm getting really angry. I'm getting really angry. I'm getting really upset. I'm getting because I feel like I'm being lied to. I feel like I'm being played. I'm getting really angry. I think somebody said Salaki on the call. Somebody said Salaki on the call. La -a, la -a. It don't even make sense when you try to rationalize. Yeah, it. yeah. So it makes your head hurt. Let's and, and, and look at this part right here. It says, For thou art a holy, holy people, people unto the Lord. So hold on. Was somebody not holy in this verse? Wait, like, who's not holy? Who's, who's, who's not, not holy? holy? This wait, is crazy. The stranger. Oh, okay. I get wait, but, wait, 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 but wait, the, the, but the other the stranger, king. they become elevated with the Israelites who are holy. So there's a holy stranger, and there's, there's, there's a not holy, holy stranger. stranger. There's an unholy wait, stranger. There's somebody that's holy. And there's somebody that's not holy. Which stranger? Thought, which which one? Is there a holy stranger? Oh, but if this stranger elevates to the status of an Israelite, then who becomes that new stranger? Is it somebody that wasn't? But then there should never be a stranger. If the right. stranger can take hold of the covenant, yeah. then there's no such thing as a stranger. Yeah. And who's the alien? So then why you bring me to a scripture that includes the stranger? Very Come, on, guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. You didn't, think it, through. You didn't think it through. What you did was you commanded me to believe something and you read it in such a way and then you attached an idea to it. Mm -hmm. And now I'm trying to use your idea. Right. But it don't make sense. So ye, who's the ye in Deuteronomy 14 and 21, Mount Kai? <laughs> the ye will be Israel. Can Israel eat something that dies of itself? No. Why? Well, uh, it says specifically, um, where is it? In verse 20. I think in verse 21, it says that you can't eat this, but you can sell it to your stranger. Yeah. Because you're a holy people. Can't do it. But, but okay. Hmm. Can't do it. But the stranger that is in that, not just you only, Israel, do I make this covenant, but with the stranger that is in thy gates. Yep. So does do I sin by giving that stranger who took that covenant something that died of itself? No. no. It's, the, the, law, the law allows you to. But wouldn't it be a sin because he's also taking hold of the covenant? He stops being a stranger? No. No. Because it doesn't work like that. What scripture says that? None. None. You will not. They were so, they were, but I thought the strength of their argument was proving that a stranger was within thy right, gates right. and he was a heathen. Right. And that was the strength of the argument. That's so true. why are you stopping him from being a heathen now? That's actually took away the, the power of the argument. Y'all died. died. This died. argument is trash. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. It don't save you. Don't save you. <laughs> it's over. Go, go, give me uh Deuteronomy 23 and 19. What in Deuteronomy 14 and 21, it says, Don't you can't eat it because you are a holy You're people holy unto people. the Lord. The other people above all men holy people. What is, so what does that make them? Unholy, profane. Hmm. God. Daniel Mellon says, What you in Deuteronomy for? <laughs> <laughs> what you in Deuteronomy for? This doesn't help you. Uh, 
Oh. Soon it's going to be what you in the Bible for. What are you doing here, bro? Put the Bible down. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how convincing Deuteronomy 29 is when you teach it in a room full of people who believe that salvation is equal for all? And you yeah, read, man. and you read, ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, your officers, with all the men of Israel, your little ones, your, your wives, and thy stranger thy. that is in thy camp. Yep. And you use Lord. this to teach me that the covenant is not just being made with Israel, but also the stranger, because there they are. Okay, now I go to the covenant, which is the law. How do we use this? I guess you're saying for the heathen to take hold of the covenant, they have to submit to this, or else they break the covenant, and then we break them. Or the antithesis has to be because they heard this, they were elevated to equality with the Israelites, and they get to enact this on others. So the Edomite could give the Edomite, but he's not an Edomite because he heard this. So we can't give it to the Edomite, but to that, e so the stranger in the gate can't eat this, but the stranger in the gate can. Is that what y'all are talking about? <laughs> And y'all would not sit still for me to present it to you like this to make you think. Y'all would be going insane making monkey noises and or, or throwing me off the stage if it was Clubhouse. Or if we were debating live, you would you would forsake the rules and be yelling really loud right now. You didn't really get you'd be really mad. I like that meme because that, that's true. I'm, I'm getting really angry because you don't want to think about this. Yeah, that's right. Ah, ha, ha. Mechanic said, wow, think about it. That's killing for a laugh. Think about it. Yatham said, Christians are dizzy right now. Damn. That is what it means when you teach Deuteronomy 29 that way. Yeah. Yep. Ah, read, read what's on the screen right now. Deuteronomy 29 and 13, at 23 and 19. Uh, and it's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 19. It says, Thou shalt not lend upon usury to thy brother. Usury of money, usury of victuals, usury of anything that is lent upon usury. Usury means interest. Right. The, for me to keep the covenant, I can't loan you money with interest. Right. Or I'm breaking the covenant if I do. Right. That's a law? Yes. Yes. For me to keep that law, I cannot charge you interest. At all. Who is the person I can't charge interest in this verse? Israel. My brother, the children of Israel. I can't charge you interest on money, mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. or anything that can have interest applied to it. Right. I can't do that. Right, right Malachi? That's right. If I do, I break this. Yep. If I break this, I break oh, the yeah. covenant. That's right. Yep. Read the next verse. Verse 20. Unto a stranger thou mayest lend upon usury. Mm. But unto thy brother thou shalt not lend upon usury. Wait. With not with you only. What happened? But with the sh thy stranger that is in thy gates. The Lord makes the covenant. Right? Right. Yep. <laughs> Can that stranger... Say you can't charge me usury because I'm in the covenant. Nope. nope. You're a stranger. That's where we're gonna have to educate them. Like, look here, my boy. You ain't <laughs> look at you, you ain't read it yet. <laughs> These are the laws you signed up for. Exactly. Yeah. Then you gonna have you gonna have Esau bucking up. No, hey, hey, that's a lot of interest on that. Hey, boy, 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 don't you ever. D just don't, don't ever. say nothing. Don't, don't you ever. ever. Never. Your brain had to break it in pieces. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, I don't know how the world's top Christian theologian can argue with what we're doing right now. That's, it does, that's that's sense. Sense. I don't I even know how he could say we're wrong because we're asking questions. Yeah. So 
unto the stranger I can lend usury, but not to the unto the stranger that heard the covenant. So I can lend with usury to the stranger, but not to the stranger. But I can also give this to the stranger within my gates, but not to the stranger that's within my gates. But the stranger that's within my gates, I could give it to him. The, the roadkill. But not the stranger that's within your thy gates. Which stranger within my gates can I not give the roadkill? And does Moses explain that? Is there a conversation about that in the Bible? Which stranger can I lend upon usury and which stranger can I not lend? Not a good philosopher. Hey, you know what? This makes me think of something they've been arguing for a long time. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture about the Passover. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Matt, hey, read, read what you holding. Hey, so, so like Go ahead. The uh, Call it. Good, do, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy twenty three and uh three. You want that? Yeah, kind of. It's a, that's a good one as well. Okay, what's this say? An Ammonite or a Moabite shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to their tenth generation, shall they not enter into the congregation of the Lord forever? So, if they're getting into the covenant, how come they cannot come into the the the, the temple of the Lord, the congregation of the Lord? If they come into the congregation, are they breaking the covenant? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> I thought we had to come to the I thought. Oh man. <laughs> Come on, man. Strange. I thought they'd become elevated yeah. if they're present. Well, it's does strange. the Ammonite become elevated to equality with the Israelite because he heard the covenant he and there. then he can now enter into that? But Well, how if he wasn't <laughs> supposed to be there? But if the law say he can't enter, does he automatically break the covenant by doing that? So then yo, this say he breaks it at the same time be, while entering. Because he's an Ammonite and because he's a Moabite, he cannot enter into the temple forever. But it, but the covenant is not with you only. But the covenant says he can't come. Because of who he is, because of his nationality, though. Oh, this is bad. So he, bad. he broke the covenant as soon as he came into the covenant. No, oh, yeah. So by know. coming into the covenant, he broke the covenant? <laughs> by coming into the covenant, he got to die. <laughs> What'd you say, Malachi? And by coming into the covenant, he probably going to have to die. He's going to be breaking a lot of rules. By coming into the covenant, he broke the covenant. Dang, dang. Then sucks it, for him. Any part, part, part of the covenant to, to, to do Passover. Mm -hmm. But he if can't. This man cannot come to the congregation. He cannot do Passover. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. Hey, hey, Sister Monique said they squinting right now with their mouth open. Like, <laughs> uh, you know that you know that meme uh, of that woman with the uh with the with the, hair, with the haircut is she like big she resting on her knees yeah she's glass. looking <laughs> that's how they're looking at the law right now they look like James y'all you taught me that Deuteronomy 20 we this is in Deuteronomy yeah yep. you taught me that Deuteronomy 29 shows that the Lord's covenant is not just with the Israelites mm -hmm. I give you that but that means that the, to keep the covenant, the Ammonite and the Moabite can never come amongst the congregation. Yeah. Forever. 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 Or he breaks the covenant. Yeah. Does he submit to that? Or does the Ammonite who heard this become elevated to equality with the Israelite and tell the Ammonite who didn't hear it, you can't enter? But even that Ammonite, <laughs> as soon as he gets elevated, he then... <laughs> He didn't. Leave how do you way. how do you keep this law? Like how? how if mean? Deuteronomy twenty nine means what they say, and the, in order to teach, they, they doctrine they have to introduce new ideas into it. Like there has to be two different Ammonites. <laughs> now there's two different and Moabites and Moabites. That's so, crazy. And there's no such scripture that teach that concept at all. That is crazy. I got to Oh, see. Okay. All right. Hold on. This is a Moabite. An Ammonite that repents and an Ammonite that keeps the commandments. Ah, he can enter to the, what scripture. But if that? he's keeping the commandments, he's not supposed to enter to the congregation. Did, oh. Damn. I'm really confused. Well, wait, that was crazy. <sighs> can somebody give me can somebody give me Nehemiah 13 and 1? Because 
let's see how this law was put into practice because I'm going to give them, I'm going to give it to them. Maybe verse 23, God felt like that. But in chapter 29, he opened it up to the Ammonite and the Moabite. Oh, yeah. Because they heard the covenant. Yeah, they, Malachi, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Or does the Ammonite get elevated to equality with the Israelite, stop being an Ammonite, and then tell other Ammonites, you can't enter? But does nah. it get elevated by keeping the commandment? <laughs> nah. Because the Ammonite going to be like, bro, we're the same. Well, how come I can't go? You win. Right. Well, the you didn't hear the covenant. You wasn't there. You wasn't there. You wasn't there. there. Yeah. <laughs> and he got to keep the commandment after you hear but, it. But, but wasn't it for those who weren't there? But it's also for them that's not here this day. Wasn't it for those who weren't there? Malachi, it's for them that's not. How do you keep this law? <laughs> the only way for them. That's confusing. To, they're joined into the covenant by keeping the commandment. The way they keep the commandments is never entered into, into the, the covenant. covenant. The, the only covenant. way they can elevate is keeping the commandments, but the commandments say they cannot enter. If, Car, you, if bro. you teach this doctrine, you're making God the author of confusion. Yes, you are. And you know that you never will discuss it with us like this. That's right. Line, let us ask you a line of questions. Mm -hmm. And you just sit as the teacher, and we get to ask these things. Rock tripping out What? Hold on. Micaiah said, For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the same. This would be the most confusing law of all time. Yep. If you are Ammonite and you took hold of the covenant, that might be the worst doctrine. How do you keep the <laughs> no the Trinity is the worst? The Trinity is, the Trinity is, Trinity is bad. Y'all gonna find out. I hate that doctrine. That choice heathen. Give me Deuteronomy 13. Uh, Nehemiah, Nehemiah, Nehemiah 13 Nehemiah, and 1. one kind of, I got it. It's book of Nehemiah. And I want to give credit to Captain Micaiah for bringing this to my attention yesterday. Go ahead. Come on, this book of Nehemiah, chapter 13 and verse 1. On that hmm? day. They what? read in the what? book of Moses in the Read audience it. of the people. And what? therein was found written that the Aramites and the Moabites should not come you. in to the congregation. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 I got to put this on the screen. That's cut. On the day they read in the book of Moses, in the not just you only, not just you only. only. Not just you only. the stranger that is with thee, the audience of the people. And what was found written? Come. The Aramites and the Moabites should not come into the congregation of God forever. So that means Nehemiah said, not y'all. Y'all have an option to take hold of the covenant so that y'all can be with us. Because Nehemiah was filled with the spirit and righteous. And Ezra's there too, filled with the spirit. Yep. So for sure, Ezra's going to explain it's certain of y'all that become us and this don't run you away. But there's some of y'all that are regarded as spittle. Right. And this is after Joshua, mm -hmm. right, exactly. Malachi? Yep. So much longer after Joshua. All right. What happens next? Read that. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but Hind Balaam against hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. How be it, our God turned the curse into a blessing. Now it came to pass when they had heard the law that they separated from Israel all the mixed multitudes. No, just the Ammonite and the Moabite. All, all, all the mixed multitudes. Mix multitude. All, yeah. all that. that Crew. Why would they do that, Malachi? You had to get them boys up out of there. But not with you only. I make this covenant. All the mixed multitude. Why would the whole mixed multitude leave? Because when they heard the words of the law, they found out there. You know what? Let, no read, read the right. law that I asked you for. Oh, hey, hey, that wasn't fair. We're talking about Deuteronomy. What you in Nehemiah for? Okay. 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 Let's okay. stay in Deuteronomy. Okay. 
I bet a Christian would argue that Nehemiah was, he don't know everything. Oh my God. I bet. I bet. He, I heard a Christian say uh, Zechariah was wrong. Oh, oh, Y'all that, remember that video? That was, that was, yeah. that was bad. I hate that so much. The that sister says Zechariah's prophecy is wrong. Yes, that was bad. He's foolish. Although Call it. This is Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 21 and 10. Let me get there with you. This is Deuteronomy 21 and 10. What's this say? It says, when thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, uh -oh. and the Lord thy God has delivered them into thine hands, uh -oh. and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and has a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her to thy wife. To thy what? To, to thy, thy wife. wife. So she, if you take her, she becomes your wife. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. Read. Then thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head and power her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and be well her father and her mother a full month. And after that, Thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. She shall be thy what? Wife. wife. Your wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not with you only. Not with you only. But with your. Well, hold on. I want to read it. Strangers, strangers. I want to read it. God. Deuteronomy twenty nine, verse eleven, and four. God, verse four. Uh, uh, Slakia. I'm wrong. I apologize. You are 14? No. Uh, I, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm in the wrong chapter. Yeah. Neither with you I can't turn the page. Do I make this yeah. Yeah. No. I want verse 10. God. Deuteronomy 29 and 10. Ye stand this day, all of you, before the Lord your God, your captains of your tribes, your elders, and your officers, with all the men of Israel. All the men of Israel. Uh -huh. Your little ones, your wives. Your what? Your wives. Your what? Your wives. Not with you only, right. but with your what? Your wives. Read. And thy stranger that is in thy camp. And the stranger mm -hmm. is the covenant being made. The covenant is the law. Yes. yes. Keep the law, keep the covenant. Yes. Break the law, break the covenant. Yes. This a law? Yes. yes. Right. This is a heathen? Yes. But she became your wife. Yes. Made your wife. So covenant made with her. Yes. Uh-oh. Read the next verse. Verse 14. And it shall be, if thou have no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whether she will. But thou shalt not sell her at all for money. Thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because thou hast humbled her. So for the heathen wife, you can divorce her, but you can't sell her. Right. Because you humbled her. Because she was made your wife. Is that the rules? That's right. Yeah. If I if I sell her, break the covenant. Yes. yes. Yeah. But she's my wife. Can't do it. Yeah. 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 Keep the covenant. Keep the law. Keep the covenant, keep the this my wife. Yes. Yeah. And and if, if I don't like her, you can send her up. I can send her away. Yeah, send her away. Yeah. Just can't sell her. Just can't sell her. No. Because I humbled her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there more laws on wives in the Bible? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What chapter are they in? Deuteronomy what? Twenty nine. Or twenty. Oh, you talking about? Oh, we're talking oh, about twenty nine. Oh, mm -hmm. Can we go to that? Yeah. yeah. Go to that. Deuteronomy 29. You go back. No, I don't want Deuteronomy 29. I want the law oh, 22. Yeah, 22. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Regarding wives, right? Regarding wives. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. Can you read Deuteronomy 22 and um you want uh 19, 19. Uh, and 28? Okay, 28. Um, this book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 28. If a man find a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, and lay hold on her, and lie with her, and they be found, 
Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. Why I didn't give her father 50 shekels? Because she was uh, she was mourning. Mm. Because I killed her dad. And she, right, she yeah. was a captive. <laughs> man, no. Before man, you took no. her to be your wife, she was a captive of the other nation. You took her captive. Did I give her a chance to take the covenant? My, well, the covenant, she's my wife. She became your wife. So she's part of the covenant. Because yeah, yeah. she wasn't there anyway, so it applies to them that wasn't there. And right? she wasn't there. Yeah, she, she wasn't, wasn't there. there. So. But if I don't like her, I can send her away. I just can't sell her. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Uh -huh. All right. Let me go to Deuteronomy 22 for the people. And then can we look at verse 29 now? Of, of course. It's Deuteronomy 22 and 29. Then the man that lay with her shall give unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver, and she shall be his wife, because he hath humbled her. Because he what? Hath humbled, humbled her. her. Now the other woman, I can't sell her no. because I humbled her. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I humbled this woman too. Yes, you yes, did. You did. Both now I, I put the other one away because yes, I don't right. like her. Right. You don't like her. Be her but I can't sell her because I humbled her. Right. Yeah. That's right. Because she's my wife. That's right. That's right. This my wife too. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, yes. It, it says it. She shall be my wife. Yes. yes. You have to pay that and I humbled her. Yep. Yep. So I can put her away if I don't like her. Wait yep. Hold on now. Hold on. Uh, now. Let's let's keep let's, let's keep reading. Let's keep reading. I don't Look think you this. understand these the, uh, this uh, covenant here, sir. Let me read the contract. <laughs> it says, "He may not put her away all his days." Mm. Well, what's the difference between this woman and the other woman? Well, sir. If you read the print, it says that woman was a captive of the other nations. But she's right. my wife. Yes, indeed. But you and not with her. me only, but with the little children and my wives. Yes, but she is of the other nations and was a captive. So this, this her position. Not, her away? not this one. This is an Israelite woman. Mm. Why are the rules not the same? Well, mm. sir, because this is an Israelite woman. And the other woman is of the other nations. Yes. But the covenant is not with me only. With your my wives. wives. Right. My wife. And the covenant states that your heathen wife can be sent away but not sold. And your Israelite woman is with you forever. If I send my Israelite wife away, I break the covenant? Yes. 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 Precisely. If I send my heathen wife away because I don't like her, I don't break the covenant? No. no. You don't. Can my heathen wife protest? No, no she can no. not. She's a heathen. <laughs> but doesn't, but not with me only. The covenant is not with me only. Right? Right. With your wives as well. And with my wife. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the covenant don't work the same for her? No. No. Not the same. They're not a, they're uh, of a not equal. Class. She's of a uh, <laughs> lower class. A, 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 a cheaper stock. Well, uh, lower see, tier. <laughs> there is a heathen, sir. This is just a little lower of a class. But wait, when y'all took me to Deuteronomy 29, the Christian was trying to teach me that everybody present gets all the promises of Israel and becomes one Israel. How much are you paying? Really? But the covenant that... <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. This means that Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. No, it doesn't. Nope. It can't. It can't. Because the law delineates between the people and the law is the covenant. That's right. Mm -hmm. So either you submit to these laws as a stranger in our gates or you get from around us. Or you get from around being around us. Or, or don't you ever. And don't you ever. Don't you ever. <laughs> don't you ever. Don't you ever. <laughs> this is the, my co uh, Let's 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 stop the folly for a second. What we just demonstrated is that Deuteronomy 29 is not designed to teach that everybody present becomes equal. Deuteronomy 29 is designed to teach an agreement to a law that separates the Israelites from others. And since that law separates the Israelites from others, everybody is not equal. So you cannot use Deuteronomy 29 to teach that God's covenant goes to everyone. Because the covenant is to the Israelites to enforce on everyone. That's yes. right. And understanding that removes that straw man that y'all tried to create. That because God said not with you only, mm -hmm. that means that he's extending the promises not to you only, but to everyone. And that is not true. 
You cannot use Deuteronomy 29 to make that point. Everybody understand? Uh, Hallelujah. 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 Now, Man, I'm sure that, that doctrine. we stomped that doctrine. <laughs> God. Fight back, bro. Fight back. We stomped that doctrine. Okay? Now, here's the key. And here's what's important to understand. All right? If you're being sincere. The arguments don't stop here. The New Testament goes on to say certain things. But the New Testament does say something in the New Testament concerning the covenant. Can we go to Hebrews 8 and 8? And I know that the energy that I'm exhibiting makes you feel like we're arrogant, we're churlish, um, even borderline hateful. I know you want to say that about me. But y'all attack Hebrew Israelites like we're some dumb guys who just came out of jail yeah. who don't know the Bible. You literally call us that. Right. <laughs> they call it the jail doctrine. And that energy is extremely negative. Right. So what we did was we made a satire of how you talked to us and did it back to you. And it didn't feel good, did it? Mm -hmm. It didn't feel good getting beat over the head with those scriptures and knowing that you don't have an elegant response. And you're going to take these questions and you're going to go ask your pastor how to answer these questions. And all he's going to tell you is a filler statement that if we analyze it, it probably doesn't mean that either. Mm -hmm. There is no way Deuteronomy 29 is extending God's promises to all nations. It's not. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 29 are rules that the Israelites are to follow and the heathens that are present. Y'all are to follow them too. Right. That's right. And y'all are to submit because I'm not just talking to them. I'm talking to everybody that hears this. Mm -hmm. yep. You going to submit or you can't be with us. That's right. And that is the message of Deuteronomy 29. Can I get Hebrews 8 and 8? Uh, all right, I got you. The book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant. And I regarded them not, saith the Lord. So the time is coming where the Lord's going to make a new covenant. That old covenant, we read some of those rules. Those rules are biased towards the Israelites. Yep. And they make the heathen that's with them submit themselves to uh, certain uh, uh, negative implications mm -hmm. because of the nature of who they are, not because of what they've done. It's the fact that you're not an Israelite. And if you want to be with us, you got to submit to this right. or get from around us so or, die. or die. Or die. Or, yeah, that's an option. That's what I said. It's an option. But the Israelites broke that covenant. They went into idolatry. So the Lord said he's going to make a new one. Well, surely that new covenant, it's got to be something new. Read on. But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. Mm. And I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. Now, this comes from somewhere. Go to uh, Jeremiah 31, 31. Read that. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 31. It reads, <clears throat> Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers and the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall, uh, shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. And after those days, saith the Lord. What? I will put my law in their inward parts. What law is Jeremiah possibly talking about? What God law God. could Jeremiah possibly be talking about? Is he talking about the law of Christ? God's law. Is he talking about uh, 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 
the the law of Herod. What is he talking about? The laws of Moses. The laws of, the laws of God. The laws that God sent through His prophet Moses. So that means the same law is coming back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this That's time right. he's not going to break them. Right. 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 So. So that means even the new covenant is biased towards people who are not Israel. Yeah. Right. Because in that old covenant, you still can be an Ammonite or a Moabite in the congregation. Right there. Forever. Sorry. So that same law I will lump. applies. Huh. Interesting. Y'all didn't think this through. And uh, y'all yeah. think we believe this stuff because we're angry and we're walking around and we mad at somebody. Yeah. Nah, that's for sure. But what I want y'all to elevate your minds to is that the Israelites believe these things because the Bible says that. Yeah. They're Bible literalists in a lot of ways. They're spiritual, but when it comes to the commandments, they're quite literal. Thus saith the Lord. It says that. Quite correct. And I would like a little bit more respect, even though you're not going to give it because the Lord said you're not. Yeah. But I'll call for it because we deserve it. Deuteronomy 29 does not save you either. That doctrine is destroyed. Now, go to Psalms 2 and 8. And we banned y'all from Deuteronomy 29 now. Thank you, Yaziah Yasharala. The water. The water sink. Join the Patreon the water, too, man. The water, the water, or be a member of the, the channel, man. Hold us down. Be with us. We're going to keep teaching like this to the most high save us off here. That's right. All right. Give me Psalms 2 and 8. The book of Psalms, chapter 2 and verse 8. Start at verse 7. Verse 7. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. If Is this scripture telling me to ask God to give me people as an inheritance? Absolutely. That's exactly what it says. And is he calling for possession of the earth? Emphatically, yes. That's Old Testament, though. That's, that's, Old, Testament. Testament. that's Old Testament, Malachi. Come on, okay. no, it's in the New Testament. Where? What are you talking about? Revelation. Revelation, as new as the New Testament get. That's the, that's the end of the book, huh? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, too easy. Way too easy. Revelation two. Revelation 2 26 yeah. and 26. Dang. So the Bible ain't nothing changed. Ain't nothing changed. Read that. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. Malachi, this is not the same scripture. This 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 is making another point. This is talking about the nations that won't submit to Christ. But Psalms 2 and 8 was talking about the enemies of David. Okay, at that time. Can we go back to Psalms 2 and 8 to prove that? Because it's not the same scripture. It you you that that's it's you guys cherry picking. No. No. This is it is not the same scripture. Look at how this one reads. Read this. Psalms 2 and 8. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Well, what's the next verse say? Mm. Thou shalt them with a rod of oh, iron. Yeah. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Well, okay. Well, that's talking about David's enemies. The other nations, yes. At that time, the Israelites were sovereign, and the other nations were their enemies. And yes. David wanted David killed a lot of them and he wanted, you know, but Jesus ain't talking about that yeah. in Revelation. Jesus is talking about the nations that won't bow to Christ, and the church of God is gonna subdue those people, those wicked uh uh Satan uh worshipers. That's that's what that's talking about. Am I can right? We the next, La -a, can we read the next verse, verse 27? God. In Revelation. What, what, what are you talking about, man? I, I, I read, verse, read verse 26. I'm, I'm gonna prove it because verse it doesn't even read the same. Uh, it's not the same. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. D does that sound like ask of me, and I will give the heathen for thine inheritance? 
and verse the uttermost parts of the earth? Yes. Verse does, 27. Does, I asked the question. Does that sound the same? No, yes. right? Be it's honest. Similar. It's Where similar. You, it, it's, see, that's the Israelites doing that. Y'all doing it again because it's similar. Can that's I read the next verse? Works, buddy. That's not how the Bible okay? works, buddy. Boy, boy. Is it okay if I read the next verse? Okay. All right. It says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron as the vessels a potter shall they be broken to shivers even as I received of my father. What sayest thou? Dum, dum. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. The law of order music. Also. <laughs> 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 yeah, he brought a special victory. So if in the Old Testament that scripture was designed for the heathen to serve the Israelites, yep. mm -hmm. why is Jesus repeating it unless in the future the heathen is designed to serve the Israelites? Mm -hmm. See that? And that is their salvation. Mm -hmm. And if they won't serve, what well, would hey, Malachi? What if they don't want to serve? Uh, Isaiah 60 and verse 12. What is, wait, what does that say? It says what's going to happen if they don't want to serve. Isaiah 60 and 12. How do you even make this connection? You guys play Bible hopscotch. Okay. If that's what you want to call it. I call it precept upon precept. What does it say? It says, for the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. That's what's going to happen if they decide not to follow directions. Uh, what says thou? 19. 19. I was just there. That's what the Bible says. Luke 17. That's what the Bible says. I Precept. Can't get around it. Listen, we, look, if you think Malachi is not a nice guy, that he's arrogant, that he's uh, he's puffed up with pride, why do you get to say that if all he did was read the Bible out loud? Like, why do we get to be accused of all these negative epithets because we know what the Bible say? So here's their last. Listen. When the, when it's all done, the energy bar is at zero. If if you ever play certain games, you press R three, you do the finishing move because they they can't fight no more. You took their power all the way down, or they dizzy. They got the birds flying around their head, right? Mm -hmm. This is their last ditch resort. You ready, Malachi? Salaki, say that again, another one. <clears throat> Well, I don't want to say all that again, but no, the last part, the last part. This is their last resort. When there's nothing left to fight with, this is their last gasp. You ready? Yeah. You better hope you're an Israelite then. So <laughs> <laughs> oh, you admit me. So oh, man. you understand that, right? You you yeah. you better be you better be really sure that you're an Israelite, buddy. What do you say to that, Malachi? I'm just going to keep continue to keep the laws and have faith in my God. And there you go. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Show them what 2nd Ezra said about keeping that law. Go to 2nd Ezra chapter 3 and verse 24. You said 2nd Ezra 3 and 24? 3 and 34. Excuse me. 34. Mm -hmm. Kowal said that's a desperation oh, move. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And they're admitting that you have to be Israel, that, you know? you be Israel. <laughs> right? That's why they create that spiritual Israel doctrine. It would be no use for it if you didn't have to be Israel to be saved. Right. Y'all teach spiritual Israel because you have to be you an Israelite. Be. You know that, and you know that. And that's why you tried to tell us that the heathen this, or the stranger that's within our gates are elevated to the same right. status as an Israelite. Because you have because to, be, you an have an to be an Israelite. Please stop playing games. Just... I would like y'all to start saying the Hebrew Israelites are skilled. Yes. And they love God and they live that lifestyle that they teach, man. And I disagree with their doctrine, but I can't prove it. Mm -hmm. You know? 
they can prove what they believe based on the scripture. And if you watch our camp video before class, they got an explanation for the chart too, because I tried to criticize that chart they got. Mm -hmm. You know, I never criticized anybody else's chart, mm -hmm. right? But their chart I criticized. Just the Israelites, just the Israelites chart. Yeah. But they got an answer for that too. Yep. Well, SOT got an answer for that too. Right. Mm, 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 mm. Deuteronomy 29 does not save you either. Nope. That's crazy. You've been uh that's uh, the worst place to go. Yeah, you've been barred, you've been barred from Deuteronomy 29. What you in Deuteronomy 29 for? Right. <laughs> Rip Jordan. God, this is the book of Second Edges, chapter 3, and verse 34. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world, and so shall thy name know. So like though that is so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Or when was it that they which dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Come on. Or what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel thy, name, kept thy precepts, but not the heathen. See, that's how you know you're an Israelite. Yep. You have the desire and will to keep the commandments because the heathen has never done that. So reevaluate that law is done away with doctrine. Right. Are you a heathen because you don't have a desire to keep God's laws? Mm -hmm. What you do in new moon? Y'all y'all don't do no new moon. That's the old law. And what y'all doing Passover? What y'all? I ain't. Uh, nah, we ain't got to do all that. Now I'm going to eat my pork. You are a heathen because you have no desire to keep the commandments. Yep. Because the heathen has never kept the commandments. Right. The only people that have a desire and will to keep the hand commandments by name are Israel. That's right. That's, right. And that's your answer. That's your answer to that question or that statement. I better hope I'm an Israel. I hope I'm an Israelite. Yeah, that's right. And I live in that hope by earnestly what? Keeping, Keeping the, the commandments. commandments and faith in Christ. And after that, I kicked them out the office and yeah, closed the door. Now, <laughs> don't you ever. And now, don't you ever. ever. Now, look at me. I'm Jake. And this is my cub. <laughs> and these are my brothers. Uh -huh. But you don't you ever. What's your name? <laughs> uh, uh, Ammon. Ammon. <laughs> Moab. Don't you ever. All right, y'all gotta watch the uh last Sabbath class to understand that one, man. Oh man. Hey, with that, we're gonna close the lesson right there. Ah. Uh, now let's take some questions or comments. All right, we're gonna hey, turn Salaki, let me get let me get one last precept in. For sure, for sure, for sure. Uh, Joshua 9. We almost forgot. Oh, 9 and 23. Uh oh, yeah. Cut out of one. He, what right he's doing you. right now is we um beat them up for 12 <laughs> rounds in the ring. So bad. They're in the locker room with their head down, and Malachi <laughs> has, has left out of our locker room and gone and to their just, locker room and started yeah, smacking them. I pulled, a, I pulled a Chris Paul. Uh, no, 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 you a Draymond Green. Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> what? Why are you beating on them like this? That man is Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> yeah. This man God. is punching their kids now. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 9 and verse 20. You want me to start at verse 21? Read start verse 22. 22. Well, well, I don't want to get on the screen. And Joshua called for them, and he spake unto them, saying, Wherefore have ye beguiled us, saying... We are very far from you when you dwell among us. So if you're not familiar with this chapter, uh, the strangers here, um, Joshua had at one point made peace with them in this same chapter and made a league with them. But now they have beguiled the children of Israel and began to murmur against the princes. So keep reading, Kaya. Verse 23. Now, therefore, ye are cursed. And there shall none of you be freed from being bondmen and hewers of wood and drawers of water for the house of my God. Mm. Joshua cursed them forever and said, you never going to stop being hewers of wood. You're going to always fetch my water and you will always get my wood and chop it up. Mm, mm, mm. And ain't that what we went through in the law that we can yep. do that? Yep. God. And and those that's how they were described in Deuteronomy 29 as drawers of water. Yeah. Yep. But you saying that they've taken hold of the covenant as is meaning that they become 
like unto the Israelites. Israelites. No, give me Romans nine and three. Let's uh, let's uh, let's do it. Let's uh, do it. He's like hey, disgusting. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. No, bloody not. They, they grab it onto our leg. Nah, nah man. Get uh, <laughs> Because we could have discussed this like gentlemen, but y'all are so rude yeah. <laughs> and negative towards Israelites. Like what we're doing is teaching some idea of hate, but we're just teaching what the Bible say. It says that. Say that, it says it. Yeah, we read this. I'm the same, man. Yeah. Read that. Romans chapter nine and verse three. For I could wish that myself were cursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. So who's our father? Wait, we just learned. We just learned that the covenants pertain to the Israelites. Yep, yep, yep. And it's their job to give these laws. Yes. Yep. To perform the service of God. Yes, yes. And all the promises belong to them. Yep. And there's no way to mix others in that. Read on. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. Amen. And that's who Christ came for. Okay. Somebody's baby's crying. Got to mute your phone. She's a, she in the matrix. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh oh, <laughs> and the Bible says, "Spare the rod, spoil the child." That's that rod of iron, man. Yep. Lead him on hey, that's, that's what we're gonna tell Ammon if he keeps knocking on the door. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you got one more time, boy. yo. Got, yo, no fire, this, no fire, no fire. This, this scripture is crazy. Romans nine and five. We don't teach this yeah. and focus on this enough. Who's yeah, it's a dagger. The promises. Whose are the fathers? Mm -hmm. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of who as concerning the flesh Christ came. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who did Christ come for? The Israelites. The Israelites. And this I mean, like, how do you how do you even attempt to get around this? Oh uh, well, he, Christ came for some people in the spirit too. That's what, what they got to try. Is that? Wait, there is no scripture. What what do they what do they have to be in the spirit though? <laughs> a spiritual is right. <laughs> so so they Christ. Wait, so you're telling me Christ only came for the Israelites? But it yeah. doesn't say that. It doesn't say Christ came for the Israelites concerning the flesh, and, and the, the others spirit. concerning the spirit. Right. There is that. no verse in the Bible that says that. Y'all are cut to the heart, man. Stop, stop teaching. Can you just be normal? Stop teaching whatever y'all teaching, bro. <laughs> just teach the Bible. Yeah, just uh oh. Just read the Bible and teach what the Bible says. Like, stop adding your doctrine into it. Yo, the boom. brother said, "Boom, boom, boom!" Open up, FBI. <laughs> y'all <laughs> going crazy with the doctrine? Y'all out of here, man. But, but we 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 <laughs> know what Esau's uh, psychology is, though. Dang, it does say that. I don't see me in there. What? Well, <laughs> let me go out on my shield. I have to teach that this is for all nations. Mm -hmm. I've got I, no choice. Lest I be excluded That's from the this. Way. Right. Mm -hmm. And they have to teach that because they know they're not in there. Hey, so it's 11 o'clock. We're going to take questions for a few minutes. Then we're going to shut it down and pray. Q&A session has started. So we've turned the conference call to Q&A. If y'all want y'all questions answered with priority, call that number right there. Because uh, on the YouTube, we're going to be dealing with the members uh, out in the front. Um, if we can get to general questions, we will. But there's so many. That's why we encourage y'all to join all of our classes. You might not get your question answered on Friday night. You very well might not. But that doesn't mean that Saturday morning you can't. That doesn't mean that Monday you can't. It doesn't mean that Tuesday you can't or Thursday, all right? So I don't want anybody feeling like, oh, I got to be a member to get my question answered. Well, wait a minute. We got, we're doing that on the Sabbath class because there's so many people. 
But why not do that on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday? I mean, it's a lot of people in them classes too, but why do you, why why not get those other classes and have your opportunity, right? right. Or call into the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we make it or join the clubhouse rooms yeah, and no, talk to us. There's no excuse. Yeah, I we giving you every option we could think of. All right, y'all. All right. So I got one. I got a question. What's up? Um, Try not to block the brother. John, uh, Genesis 6. Could the sons of God be the descendants of Adam? Um, yes. You mean Seth? But the sons of God through Adam all come through Noah. Right? John. Well, yeah, kind of. Kind of. I can see that. So that's what that would the sons of God now oh. would be through the chosen line. So Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and then after them, those are the sons of God. Well, could it be when it says the sons of God be referring back to chapter five when it had listed the sea line from Seth to Noah? It could very well mean that. Yes, it does not mean that angels came down, yeah, yeah, right. yeah developed yeah. physical, yeah. developed yeah. physical private parts to lay with women. That's a crazy doctrine. That's more Greek mythology. That's where you get Hercules from. That's yeah. where you get Achilles from. Uh, these demigods Perseus. that Perseus, you know, these these demigods. Yeah. All right. Hera was coming down, laying with men. Um, Zeus was coming down, you know, picking women. So the Bible is not teaching that idea. And we know you Christians have all these doctrines, but none of y'all understand the, the doctrine of keeping the commandments. Y'all right, y'all know everything but that. That's all right. So on a call, 470, you up first. Question or comment? Four seven oh two one eight. Hey, Captain Nehemiah, y'all going to see him in our latest camp video. Y'all going to see him. What's up, Ock? All right, he asked the question about Zechariah chapter three and verse nine. All right, this gets pretty detailed. Let's let's go into it. Uh, it's the book of Zechariah, chapter 3, <clears throat> and verse 9. For behold, the stone that I have laid before Joshua, upon one stone shall be seven eyes. Behold, I will engrave the graving thereof, saith the Lord of hosts, and I will remove the iniquity of, the la of that land in one day. Now, when you start talking about this, this is symbolic imagery, okay? That stone represents the uh, cornerstone of the church. I believe that to be Christ. The seven eyes represent wisdom and completion. All right. There's a stone coming with complete wisdom and he's going to engrave the graving thereof, meaning he's going to mark it for righteousness and remove the iniquity of the land. All of that was done through Christ. You understand that? Um, read on. In that day, Say if the Lord of hosts shall ye call every man his neighbor under the vine and under the fig tree. And we know that vine and choice vine mm -hmm. is is uh Israel, Israel. and Israel. the fig tree has connotation still pointing towards Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, if you be spiritual, you understand that? Now you could go you could go deeper, and this is something that we like to do, right? So say you look up Zechariah three and nine. Right. We don't we teach like this. We, we call it a cross reference and we call it comparing the doctrine of the scholars. Mm -hmm. Right. You can look at commentaries on it, but you must be wise. A person writing a commentary has a bias. You need to be able to discuss that with like as a person who knows the overall picture of the scripture. So I do not believe that. You should learn from a commentary. Right. I think you should learn from a school. You should be taught. Before you learn it, brothers, that are already have your doctrine solid and you're not uh, tossed to and fro, 
the commentaries can give you more to think about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because the work has already been done. All right. So for instance, go to revelation five and six. Revelation 5 and 6, it reads, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, mm -hmm. as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. So now you could parallel it with that, too. You can say, well, the seven eyes represents the seven spirits, which still points to Christ. Right, that's the, the seven and seven being completion, right? So y'all can y'all can do that if y'all want deeper study, right? You can examine the commentaries, but you need to be, I'm telling you, you need a strong foundation or a commentary will have you believe in whatever the doctrine is of that person. Yeah. A commentary will teach you the Trinity mm -hmm. if you're not strong in the spirit, right? So the answer that we gave as SOT is that symbolism for all wisdom, seven being completion, that stone representing the cornerstone of the church is Christ. That engraving is the Most High's law being written on your hearts and the iniquity being removed from the land is accomplished through his sacrifice. Y'all understand? Uh, All right. Hey, good question, Nehemiah. I See you tomorrow? Uh, All praises. All praises. Uh, 731, question or comment? Seven three one. Question or comment? Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, brother. Um, I really, I, I got a couple questions. Really, two main questions. Um, one question is about um, I've heard certain people teaching that against uh, having multiple wives, mm -mm. and their thing was their thing was basically saying like, show me um anybody having multiple wives during captivity so so and they'll use it to say like we're in our captivity now so how can we have multiple wives in this captivity because nobody else had any uh multiple wives after uh say babylon anytime after that they would say or anybody in captivity period didn't have multiple wives could you show me anywhere in the bible that any of our israelite brothers that had multiple wives i don't i don't have to I, I can't I can't show you a scripture of a of a brother in the Bible eating a cheeseburger. Does that mean you can't do it? Everything that we do is predicated upon what's lawful. Right. If the law allows for it, then we allow for it. That just because things are lawful don't make them expedient or useful to you. There are certain brothers that don't need to have multiple wives, mm -hmm. but we can't teach against it, or else we'd be breaking the covenant. Mm -hmm. We'd be breaking the commandment right. by teaching against the commandment. Right. Where we have no jurisdiction to do such a thing. And I think the sisters get frustrated and don't understand that's where we're coming from. And we get labeled, oh, y'all brothers is just full of lust. Y'all just want to have sex with as many women as you can. I'm going to tell you this. Do you know how much work it is to have more than one rib? That's two father-in-laws, two mother-in-laws if they live in, two sets of family, two sets of duties of marriage, two sets of emotions, two sets of women to please. Uh, uh, there's children going to come from this if you do it right. Mm -hmm. And that's a lot of work to be done. Okay. Two duties of marriage. Two mouths to feed on top of what else? If, if, if you're a provider, two mm -hmm. mouths to feed. Mm -hmm. Who said having multiple wives is some type of cakewalk where we just freaking off having a bunch of fun? Two women to teach. Mm -hmm. working for it's work. So... Uh. A brother must express, hold on one second. A brother must express to himself and to God that I truly love both these women mm -hmm. and I can't live without them. Mm -hmm. That's hard for the women to understand you, but you're not trying to make them understand. You can't, make, first of all, you can't make nobody understand nothing. It's for the most high to move their hearts to understand you and then put their differences aside and do their duties as wives to you. And then you'd be blessed. Right. And if you're not blessed, that's because they not doing their part to see to it, because if you should be doing your part to make sure they are blessed mm -hmm. as being wives. OK, it's, it's, it's like you.
You gotta speak louder. God, the, it's it's that's such a that's such a moot. Uh, 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 moot how you say the word? You mute moot 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 point. Because it's like show me show me somebody in the cat yeah. in the captivity that had multiple. Well, show me where it's a law that God says in captivity you can't have multiple wives. I could ask that question back. You, you know? can ask that question right back, and both of y'all will be staring at each other, looking slow, s- slow. <laughs> y'all just be looking slow at each other, right? There's a there, there's laws, and you have to keep the laws of God in captivity or not. Now the scriptures teach if you are going to take you another wife, period. Yo, duty, the duty and raiment of the first wife shall you not diminish. It's laws pertaining to that. Now that stops if you're in captivity. It makes no sense. Should you get rid of one of those wives because you're in captivity now? That, that's no better than the people that say don't keep the Passover because you in captivity. Show me somebody keeping the Passover in captivity. Why? Wow. I don't have to. Go to Matthew 25 and read verse 1. Yeah. And then, and then you know, for the brother acts for a scripture, the Israelites in captivity here. A uh, Edomite is king. They living in ghettos here. Pharisees over them are wicked. Some of them are not even Israelites. Herod throwing you in jail, having your head cut off at birthday parties. The Israelites is in captivity here. Captivity here. Jesus Christ up on a cross getting crucified because Pontius Pilate got the power to do it. And the Israelites not even judging their own matters. Mm-hmm. Read that. God, this is the book of Matthew chapter 5. 25. Yeah. Oh, he said 25. And speak louder. So like the book of Matthew, chapter 25, and verse 1. And it reads, Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Why is Jesus Christ teaching this if it's wicked to have more than one wife? Right. <laughs> Why are you comparing the kingdom of heaven to something that's wicked? Makes no sense. Nobody never thought about that. Mm-hmm. Y'all so hasty. You know why you hasty? You're trying to please somebody. I'm telling you, man. Brothers figured it out a long time ago. If you keep the sisters happy, your congregation get huge. And the more women, the more men. The more men, the more women. And a snowball effect. I don't care. We're going to teach the truth, man. We're going to teach it right, too. We, we expect more. Not, well, a brother told me once, I never seen it work. I seen it's nothing but fighting and the women don't get along. I just don't think you should do it, man. We in the kingdom will do it, but here, it, wait, you telling me because the sisters are not fulfilling their role in righteousness, you can't do something. So they controlling you, mm-hmm. but you're supposed to be a king in the earth. Put so her foot upon thy substance. Yeah, you gave your preeminence over because. Of someone else's emotions? No, they supposed to grow in the spirit too. Right. Where's they faith at that if they just do their job, the most high gonna bless them? You know, we're not asking them to spiritually grow. Those women are in the kingdom. Now don't ask me to be an advocate for something like well then go and make everybody happy. No, I don't I want Israel to be happy. So everything that's lawful is not expedient. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll tell a brother to his face based on his circumstance or what he's going through in his life or who he is uh, spiritually. Hey, I, you need to slow down. You don't need that situation right now. You know, uh-huh. I'll tell that brother that I'll be like, yeah, you it's legal to do it, but you don't need to do that right now. But I'll tell that to a brother that's trying to have one wife, too. Right. Mm-hmm. Brother, you don't need to do that right now. Right. Or that's not the right person. Or the situation that that person is going through, you can't do that right now. Just chill for a minute and let the Most High have his way. Yep. And I believe that's the right way to be a leader. And that's what we are as Israelites. Right. Uh, go ahead, brother. I know you wanted to say something. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I, I understand all that. And I was just, you know, I, I wasn't looking forward to nothing like that myself. I got a wife been with her 17 years we got three kids i was just trying to understand why brothers be preaching against that because it just never really made sense to me when it's like y'all said it's not against the law um and then i did have one last question all right and then we're gonna 
close the Q&A after that, and then we're going to take the YouTube questions and we're going to pray. Go ahead. I saw on one of y'all classes, a, a brother was basically teaching. He wasn't saying that you can cook on the Sabbath, but and maybe I misunderstood what he was saying, but it sounded to me that he was saying it was okay to use the microwave or to reheat something that you cooked the previous day. Yes. Uh, could you explain that to me? Sons of, Sons of Thunder Israelites have taught for years openly that the law of the Sabbath is not to profane it by carrying your burdens. Um, that would be profaning the Sabbath. Uh, working servile work, that would be profaning the Sabbath. Um, what brothers are saying as do not cook comes from Exodus chapter 16, where the Lord sent down manna that you had to gather. Uh, to gather something into a ephah is to carry a burden. It's just like the man who was gathering sticks. Yep. That doesn't mean the sticks were heavy. It's just the fact that he was gathering them yeah, right. and doing that work. So to eat manna, you have to gather it. So the Lord told them to gather two measures mm -hmm. for today and tomorrow so that you don't have to go out of your tent, which is also a part of that same law. Right. Don't go outside your tent on the Sabbath day, which the law was enacted because the Most High wanted to stop the Israelites from potentially being killed because if they go outside... They're going to gather manna and thus profane my Sabbath. Uh, we see later that the manna ceased. We believe that that law ceased because there's no manna. And we believe that that law was specifically designed as pertains to the manna. Other brothers say, well, you cannot kindle a fire in your home. And kindling a fire is laborious work. And to start a fire, you need to gather sticks. Mm -hmm. To kindle it, you have to exert yourself with a lot of energy they don't have lighters butane lighters electric stoves gas stoves or microwaves right. pressing a button on your microwave is not laborious work turning a knob on your stove that makes a flame is not kindling a fire that's turning on the stove it's a different time and it's a different age and if we become literalist to that law let's not be hypocrites stay in your house number two don't turn your car on that's kindling a fire if we, you define it that way. Mm -hmm. Number three, don't take a hot shower because the pilot light on your boiler has to turn on. That's kindling a fire if you define it that way. So we were, we want to leave the scriptures where they at. You brothers on the Sabbath rest. But it is also lawful to do well on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. That's why we don't tell brothers to stay in their house and not go to camp. Um, in a nutshell, that's our teaching. It gets more detail. We actually have lessons dedicated to it, but that's uh, as quick as I can explain that. You understand, Ock? Do y'all have any specific videos on YouTube that I can go yeah. and watch on this? Yes, the weighty, weighty, mattier, weighty, weightier, weightier matters of the Sabbath. Right? You'll, you'll find it on the channel. You're welcome, brother. All right, I'm going to end the Q&A right there. Q and A session is over. Uh, I'm gonna take some YouTube questions, or y'all brothers can chime in too. Um, so much participation in the chat, man. I love y'all. Uh, All right, this brother says, "Can I get a clear breakdown of how Deuteronomy 23 and 8 applies?" I never get a clear response. Okay, let's deal with that one. We got a video dedicated to that. It's called Deuteronomy 23 and 8. Does it save Esau? Deuteronomy 23 and 8 don't save Esau either. No, I'm just talking about that video we got. Well, eight, eight, eight is where it's supposed to save them. Hey, turn your volume down a little bit, Malachi, or mute your mic. Oh, Slacky. Now, read verse seven. Con, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse seven. Thou shalt 23. Not... Oh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, and verse seven. Thou shalt not abhor an Edomite, for he is thy brother. Thou shalt not abhor an Egyptian, 
because thou was a stranger in his land. This is specifically pertaining to uh, gathering with the congregation. You Esau at Esau was amongst the Israelites. You can look at David's time. All right. They served him. The Lord is saying, don't do them abominably. Mm -hmm. Don't reject their sacrifices and don't send them away. All right. As long as they're obedient. And he had to wait a certain amount of time before this was possible. But remember, this is not teaching that thou canst not kill, destroy, hate, rebuke, remove, or reject the Edomite. Mm -hmm. Because what happened a chapter before this? Amalek. Or is it after? It's two chapters after chapter 25. What happened with Amalek? Amalek is an Edomite, right? Uh, what did the Lord say about him? Go 20, to verse 17. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 25 and verse 17. Remember what Amalek did unto thee, by the way, when ye were come forth out of Egypt. How he met thee, by the way, and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee, when thou was faint and weary, and he feared not God. Therefore it shall be, when the Lord thy God hath given thee rest from all thine enemies round about, in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance to possess it, that thou shalt blot out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven, thou shalt not forget it. So the Lord just commanded us two chapters later to destroy all the Amalekites. So then how can chapter 23 be teaching that we got to love them or be brothers? It doesn't mean that. All right. It's strictly pertaining to uh, a congregational gathering. All right. In the assembly. Um, and there was a time if you read, um, is it second Samuel eight and 14? There was a time where we had garrisons, which is little prisons we set up in Edom because we controlled them and we lived among them. And the Edomites served David. Um, reading on, Rob Wack, the Sons of Thunder Israelites teach that Cornelius is an Israelite. And um, Adonijah asks, what nation does Melchizedek belong to? And is that nation of people here today? La'a, Melchizedek is a spiritual person. Go to Hebrews 7 and read verse uh, 2. It's Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 2. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation, king of righteousness come on and after that also king of salem which is king of peace come on without father without mother without descent having neither be beginning of days nor end of life but made like unto the son of god abated abideth abideth a priest continually so that is the answer to your question there is no nation that he belongs to melchizedek does not have a descent uh abayanam yasharala i was actually studying this this week uh divine prospect was uh dropping some jewels and i was politicking with the brother that's a lovely brother um um very given when it comes to wisdom and 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 very, very brotherly. You know, we love Divine Prospect. Um, it says, did the prophet Isaiah have more than one wife? Because in Isaiah 7 and 3, he has a son. And 7 and 14 speaks of a virgin conceiving in Isaiah 8 and 1. Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm not familiar with the details behind that account. That's a good question. I, I think virgin there doesn't mean... A woman that's never had sex. It just means a woman of marriageable age. But I don't, I don't think that's a different woman. But it might have to be. I think he's talking about Mieshalab, Mahershalab, But uh, I think that's. I think seven is the beginning of the prophecy, and eight is it happened. Mahershalab. Well, sequence of events. Mahershalab Hashbaz. Is this a sequence of events? Yeah, so so chapter seven is about 
uh, the northern kingdom teaming up with the heathen and Isaiah prophesying through the Lord. Uh, well, the Lord prophesied through Isaiah that a child was going to be born being a sign that they're not going to succeed when coming up against the southern kingdom. And chapter eight is the fulfillment of that child being born. OK. OK. So there, there will be no scriptural precedence that Isaiah had more than one rib based on that. That's just a sequence of events. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, the details around it being a different woman isn't there, but he does have a son prior to this in chapter eight. Uh, uh, verse three in chapter seven shows he has a son before chapter eight. All praises, man. Hey, look, man, shout out to the brothers that's prospecting. All right. Be there on Sunday with bells on to get your education. I got to fix the syllabus, Malachi. Remember? Uh -huh. Is it time to do that? Not yet, right? Uh, I think we have like maybe one or two. Oh, All right. So if you want to join Sons of Thunder Israelites, send us an email. All right. Um, and we'll get you in the next prospect phase. All right. So honestly, man, Deuteronomy 29 don't save you either. Never did. We proved that. The water for all y'all beautiful questions and participation. So right now, the way we close the Sabbath every time is we send up the Lord's Prayer in Hebrew. Call this number at the bottom if you want to join us in the prayer and just make sure your phone is on mute, okay? Sister Tanaya, you want to join uh, the Pillars of Rest? Me and Malachi are going to go through them emails. I think you already are part of the program on the uh, Patreon. Uh, who said that? Tanaya. I think you already a part of the Patreon. Am I correct? I think so, sis. So if you filled out that PDF and sent that, if you looked at that PDF and sent that email, we definitely got you locked in. Okay. So the Pillars of Rest is just education designed specifically for our sisters where women are speaking. It's a safe space for our sisters. Something special just for them. We offer that on our Patreon. All right. Join that tier or join above it and get all the other education plus that tier for a, a, a discount and um, uh, for everybody that's a gold member of the channel, make sure to send them emails with the screenshot. Okay. With that being said, we, the sons of thunder, it's our hearts, prayer and desire for Israel that they might be saved. We're going to close this class. We're going to run that true Jews back, man. Debak did his thing. All right. Peace to everybody else that sent music and everybody asking about Yazabad's track. We, we're going to handle that for you. All right. Peace and safety to the elect in the four corners of the earth. Shallow one. Shallow See his pain, my people see the same. They lock us down in chains, we just praying for a change. They knock us off the throne and strip the earth of our names. My heritage, I claim, I just pray they do the same. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews, if but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews, if they only, if they only knew that we the true Jews, if but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews, you saved us from Egypt and Moses was the leader. Next 40 years, angel food is what you feed us. You pass me down the law, mindset of a leader. I took a blood open problems like kids, they keep it So we celebrate the past over killer firstborn You played the land of Egypt, no mercy was shown For agriculture, finance, the system was torn When you drown them in the sea and left their city in morning Now I'm mourning and want the semblance of a sign No, we blind, Messiah put spitty clay in my eyes End times, they wondering which way is the God So we die, not knowing his always way to the light Which is Christ, so I fight different stereotypes Parasites, my life ain't worth from paradise, real life. They think it's all a joke. Harlem nights in sight. They hate us cause we the Israelites. Cause if they only knew that we the true Jews. If only but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews. If they only knew, they only knew that we the true Jews. If but knew. if they only knew that we the true Jews. Can't shake hands with you. Her mate grand justice came with the same spirit as my ancient ancestors. We were puking in the gate. Ain't sparing now, nigga. They looking for a sign like when Christ transfigured. But prophecy is the sign. Which reminds we as children Cause even Moses times still describe how we living We stricken with the curse and got the body of Egypt I'm lifting up her skirt and exposing these soul secrets As they whitewash history distorted the pericope So I can grow and see the love between you and me Put us at the low and then rewarded all lunacy Wicked of the earth and if not then who it be? Damn, I need a moment just let me grieve Negro spiritual about freedom they'll never see Damn, I need a moment just let me grieve 
Catch me one, speed twice, man, don't perceive Rock star, trap star, hood stars and black stars You whisk and gummers, make it bang off of our scars Battle walk, Elise Parker, Thomas Marshall, George Carver You whisk and gummers, make it bang off of our smarts All we see is pain, my people see the same They lock us down in chains, we just playing for a change They knock us off the throne and strip the earth of our names My heritage I claim, I just pray they do the same Cause if they only knew that, we the true Jews if But if they only knew that, we the true Jews If they only knew that, we the true Jews But if they only knew that, we the true Jews Yeah, we the true Jews And you don't need a diamond tester No man in the house, how can your mom protect you? They quick to hit us with a charge Like we driving Teslas You make a stand and give you bars But you ain't riding scepter You'll never trust a white man Saying I can help you Cause he was 12 and 16 And y'all child molesters They arrive with all smiles Show the kind of gestures Your hard ass when you say you got a lie detector But that's cool though Y'all should roll her up next, the elect So we bump heads, we gon' cut necks Just death, so you how it shot To that wine press, that white will turn red Like eat a mic when they upset I'm tryna warn them, but two-thirds won't listen I don't gotta be Jordan It's my bro Pippin So I'm sturdy till they put me in the hearse Till my family is the rat Till my salvation first, we them All we see is pain, my people see the same They knock us down in chains, we just playing for a change They knock us off the throne and strip the earth Of our names, my head is I claim, I just pray they do the same Cause if they only knew that, we the true truth But if they only knew that, we the true truth If they only knew that, we the true truth But if they only knew that, we the true truth